Hi, Chip. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? You're the first one today. Imagine. who got their driver's license in the hard rain um you <laughs> I mean I bet that was stressful but at least they know you know what you're doing right I'll turn face cam on in one minute, not even a joke. I'll do it. So I have a new tweet. Go like it. Go like it. New tweet. That way everybody knows we're live. Rare Sunday stream. I lied, it's been a minute. <laughs> I can't count. I go Bobo, welcome in. Can we get some meals? Also, thank you to Chip for chatting. And they're just starting Swiss Green today. I have a Slurpee. Hashtag not an ad. Because I went out for a walk and I was like, I'll get myself a little hot chocolate. Because at 7 Eleven, they have like the normal coffee hot chocolate. And then they also have PSLs. And I wanted to try it. But the machine was broken. <laughs> So, I got a Slurpee. Big sad. But you know what else? Okay, today, I'm gonna be continuing my blind playthrough of Detective Pikachu Returns. Um, last time... What happened last time? Because we did the missing jewel, and then... It was the mission we were in, like, the underground cave things. And then we saw our dad! So that's what we're picking up today. Um, it's been a month since this game has come out, so 
I don't want to hear any excuses. I'm waiting to play the game. No spoilers. You guys you have the chance to play. So just watch the stream. No excuses today. Dude, I remember the last time I played this, I was sick. <laughs> I was literally sick. Now, I have to remember the voices I did. I know Pikachu was <laughs> very... No, I... I'll do it in the scene. I'll do it in the scene. Okay. I hope it'll recap. Wait, did Tainy Pikachu? Okay, so the synopsis for this... I only did two missions? Bro. Apparently there's six chapters in this game. And each chapter is about four hours long. Okay. Tim and Pikachu plan to meet with Inspector Holiday, hoping to learn something about the suspicious group they encountered in the ruins and the cube-shaped devices. Let's get started. Everybody get your detective thinking caps on. We're gonna solve the mystery. Head out when you're ready. I don't think I talked to my mother yet. Hi, Chip. Oh, wait, no, I'm not Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say Chip? You guys have such opposite chat colors. Hi, Wolves. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? <laughs> I just woke up. Just kidding. I woke up at like six. Right. I know you're busy, Tim, but please don't overwork yourself, okay? You don't have to worry so much, Mom. I'm not a kid anymore. Say that all you want, but a mother always worries about her kids, even when they're adults. I know, Mom. Thanks. I'll be careful. Oh, they have more fruit on the table. Oh. It's today's newspaper. <laughs> okay. What articles? <laughs> okay, that's not it. What articles are there today? Dude, there's so much. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> we brought back a ton of berries from the ruins. We sure did. I had a blast tasting so many different flavors. Let's whip up something with these later. Okay, I like that voice. I don't want it to be too deep. Imagine they made a Detective Pikachu sequel. I heard rumors, and I think they're true. Yep. I went to Rhyme Tower with Mom yesterday. The view was super pretty. Let's all go together next time. No thanks. You can count me out. I've got no time for sightseeing. Dude, he's such a Debbie Downer. Too, of course. Are you hearing a word I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, of course not. Shot of her just like NPC mode. Hey Tim, do you know any good sightseeing spots in Rhyme City? I just love for you to show me. Um, uh, nothing's really coming to mind right now. Oh come on, Tim, you gotta be ready for this kind of thing. What if you had to come up with a few good date spots on the fly, huh? I take you know a good spot then, Pikachu. Of course I do. Personally, I'd recommend the Hi-Hat Cafe. Hashtag, not an ad. I've been popping over there about dinner- Wait. I've been popping over there about- uh, Why do we keep sitting around? I've been popping over there after dinner lately just to grab some coffee and collect my thoughts. Ah, so that's where you've been running off in the evenings recently. Still, I think Sophia may be a little too young to really appreciate the Hi-Hat Cafe. Don't bother your brother, Sophia. Tim's very busy. Okay. Dude, l let us have fun. It's my little sister. Come on. Yep. Are you heading out again, Tim? Even though we're here to visit you. Sorry, Sophia. I'll make more time to hang out with you. Just wait a little. You promise? Yeah, I promise. 
then I guess I can wait a bit. Wait, she has no T's. Editor, zoom in. She has literally no teeth. It's all the candy she's eating. Wait, is this my flat or my parents? What? Yeah, I think this is my apartment. Why are they here? <laughs> These are the medals we received. They're proof of all the good we've done with our great detective work. Let's keep it up, Tim. Let's watch some propaganda. Oh! It's time for the morning news to start. This is GNN News. Who's CNN? Pokemon incidents are on the rise. A swarm of Beedrill descended on Rhyme City last night. Though citizens were in danger, we can thankfully confirm that no one was harmed. Both the Rhyme City Police and the PPB are investigating the incident. Mayor Myers has said addressing these incidents is his top priority. That happened yesterday. Yeah. No mention of that group in the white uniforms, though. Or Dad, for that matter. We can't just ignore those weirdos. We need more information. You're right. We should go talk to Inspector Holiday. All right. If we want to talk to Inspector Holiday, we should go to the police station. I'm ready to head out when you are. Ooh, what's this? Is this my room? Wait, why do I have my bed out here then? Dude, what is up with my apartment? Well, let's go, Pikachu. All right. Let's get going, Pikachu. Oh, wait. Let's pay the Hi Hi Cafe a visit first. Huh? Why? We can interview the customers there, see if they know anything about last night's incident. Well, that is pretty important, actually. This isn't just an excuse for you to get coffee, is it? Ah. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna dignify that question with a denial, mostly because I can't. Well, we're off. See you later! I'm gonna put Cam here. I think it balances more. Rhyme City. Outside the Hi-Hat Cafe. What's this? Are they gonna lock us up? Dude, A cab! Hello, great detective. I'm here for Pikachu. B Brad, what is all this? Pikachu, you're under <laughs> Wait, arrest. Wait, what? Come with us. Huh? <laughs> what did I do? No way. Arrested for what? For property damage. Take him away. Oh, Tim, I'll be all right. Just shock him. Just, just shock him. Literally, just blast him. Focus on proving. Oh wait, innocence. he lost his electricity. I forgot. Pikachu. <laughs> Dude, if somebody tried to call my detective Pikachu, I would have just start punching. I would have started peace. I do punching. I don't care. Don't take my dog. Detainee oh. Pikachu. Well, Sableye has a little cube. This is bad. Are we gonna break out of jail? Must have fallen asleep at some point. Huh. I remember Brad and his goons putting me in the police car. Which means this must be the police station. If this is someone's idea of a joke, it's not very funny. I can't believe a great detective like me would already be locked up behind bars. Wait, I got the cube too now. Wait, okay. Is the police in on the cubes? Hey, quit that. 
muttering newbie. Great. Guess I can't expect a warm welcome from my new roommates either. I've landed myself in a real mess, that's for sure. Oh, well. Let's see what my new roommates can tell me. Oh, I put... That's why I had cam top left, because the missions are on the right. Oopsie. Sableye, mineral maniac. He's just like Stitch. Hey there, buddy. Can I ask you some questions? I ain't your buddy, newbie. And I ain't wasting time making small talk with you either. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I'm still trying to get my bearings. I mean, I don't even know why I was brought here. <laughs> sure you don't. You must have done something bad to end up here. Something bad? Me? I'm the great detective Pikachu. I would never. A great detective? You? <laughs> no, that's a good one. That wasn't a joke. Well, Mr. Great Detective, let me give you some free advice. You may have been some big shot detective out there, but in here, you're just a newbie. And newbies don't run their mouths, got it? Well, that's that, I guess. I don't think I'll be getting much more out of him. Old. Saved. Okay, I'm gonna verify the audio sync. <laughs> Dude, I swear, every time OBS updates, it breaks everything. I updated it yesterday or the day before, I think. Okay, I'm going to verify everything's synced. Wait. I think we can escape. Dude, why would they have an open vent? Or maybe that's an intercom? Master plan. We befriend the big guy. He shoves us in the hole in the wall. Dude, cover your mouth when you sneeze. Jeez. Okay, let's talk to him. Kangaroo, boss of the bamboo forest. Hey, you got a minute? You must be the newbie. So I'm told. I was hoping to learn more about this place. Hey, are you even listening to me? Hello? Keep it down in the detainment room. The detainment room? You mean where we are now? Great. Just ignore me, why don't you? Well, at least I learned what this room is called, which is nice. Sheesh. Sheesh. Can't even get a straight answer out of the Pokemon here. Hmm. That puts me in a bit of a pickle. How am I supposed to find out what's going on? Hmm. What's happening? It's time for exercise. Proceed to the roof. 
Single file. Wait, this is just like Squid Game. Hey, you guys all right? They've been indoctrinated. <gasps> Bodies. Hey. Happened. I don't know how to say happened. Silly camera. Camera. Eh. Aki. They're microchipping everyone. It's so hard not to make a vaccine joke. Vaccines should be trusted. Dude, I'm online too much. What? How did- what? What just happened? You were exercising. Is this... the roof? Why did I come up here? Today just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Guess I'll ask the other Pokemon what's going on. Okay, I like how... I like the Pokemon Saturn missions. Hey, it's this bozo. Hmm. Well, you were arrested and brought here too. What's the matter with you? Don't talk to me like we're friends, you impetuous little Pikachu. And don't even think about trying to run away. Oh. You're that police officer's partner. Figures. Same old, same old today. Everything's quiet and I'm bored out of my mind. Sheesh. This officer seems pretty checked out and low on situational awareness. But as tempting as it'd be to make a mad dash for it, I'm a, I ought to investigate the area first. They don't even have barbed wire on the fences. We could literally just jump. Oh, there's a bunch of people out here. Yeah. Leopard. Poised and refined. Why, hello there. I don't believe we've met. Oh, thank goodness. Someone I can actually have a conversation with. <laughs> the Pokemon here are a rather quirky bunch, aren't they? You said it. Doesn't help that I've got no idea what's going on. What do you mean? Like, how we all suddenly ended up on the roof, for example. Oh, right. I suppose that is a bit strange. The same thing happens every day, but I don't really know why. Every day, huh? Good to know. Thanks. Hmm. Who are you? <laughs> Impidim, just a silly little guy. I've never seen this Pokemon. Uh -huh. I've never seen you around before. You new or something? Yeah, I just got nabbed a little bit ago. Have you been here a long time? Nah, I'm pretty new too. Been here longer than you though. And that matters why exactly? Because the longer you've been here, the higher you are on the ladder. <laughs> Wait. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Maybe on TV? I'm a famous great detective after all. Great detective. Hmm. Hmm. Say. Didn't I tell you to zip it? Stop talking to me like we're pals, newbie. Because we ain't. Oh, come on. No need to be so standoffish. I'm just trying to ask a few questions. Weren't we inside a room just now? Why are we up here on the roof? Beats me. Don't try anything funny. 
if you know what's good for you. Save. You know, since Detective Pikachu is like technically a cop, why is he not given like a separate cell? Like I know in like prisons, they will give like special treatment obviously to like former officers and they'll keep them like segregated from like regular gen pop because they know they'll get their ass beat that's one like pikachu is not getting any special treatment i thought i told you to keep quiet newbie hey I thought you didn't want to talk to me. And now here you are, striking up a conversation. You won't be running your mouth like that for long. Follow me. Luxray wants to see you. Luxray? <laughs> He'll teach you how things work around here. He'll teach you real good. This is the newbie I was telling you about. So you're the talkative Pikachu. Luxury. Eh? Huh? What are you supposed to be, the big boss of this place? You gotta be joking. I'll teach you the rules around here. <laughs> like Jail 101 or something? Well, you don't know when to stop talking. Rule number one. He fainted, that it actually shouldn't have been that very effective. Pathetic. Rule number one, we kill you. Detainment day one, Tim, morning. <laughs> they just beat his ass, too. <laughs> okay guys we are 30 minutes in the stream so if you're new here click follow you get um cool emotes and you get to type in chat and yes i do voice acting for every single stream mods add voice acting to the tags <laughs> and if you're new, already following make sure you have notifications turned on that way you don't miss a single stream let's go back to tim well I made it to the police station, but I wonder if they'll even let me see Pikachu. He must be so lonely all by himself in there. I still can't believe they just drag him off like that out of the blue. Brad said something about property damage, but that doesn't sound like Pikachu at all. What if we have a doppelganger? <laughs> the real prison interaction? I was trying my best not to make a don't drop the soap joke. And I didn't. A new mission. Ask the officer if visitation is allowed. Mm -hmm. I've got to go ask if they'll let me see Pikachu. Okay, why is there a Pokemon manning the desk? They can't even talk. It's so silly. This is the reception area. State your business. Excuse me. My partner Pikachu is being detained by the police. <laughs> casually is this where they're keeping him detained pokemon are held in custody at this station yes how is pikachu doing would it be possible for me to see him i'm afraid that won't be possible without express permission from headquarters furthermore i'm furthermore i furthermore i'm unable to share any information related to an ongoing investigation you can't be serious Tim, I thought I'd find you here. Inspector Holiday and Chief Butler. I understand how concerned you are about your Pikachu. Don't worry, the Pokemon Protection Bureau is a safe place. Hmm. We'll be holding Pikachu in custody here for a while. He's suspected of causing property damage last night in Fountain Plaza. Pikachu would never do that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we've got proof. 
That being said, we're still investigating the matter. I can't allow any visits before the dust settles. So there's really no way I can see him? Look, I'm sure this is tough for you, but we don't do special treatment here. Not even for you, young detective. Anyway, kiddo, I'll see you around. Frank Paladine. Am I right in assuming you can't tell me anything either, Inspector? I'm afraid it's just as Chief Butler says. But I'll do what I can to arrange a visit for you. Come back to the reception area sometime this afternoon. Really? Thank you so much. Don't mention it, Tim. Oh, and one more thing. I'd like to have a chat with you tonight. It'll be our little secret. I'd rather not go into details here, so let's meet near the station after sundown. You know, our spot. All right, I'll see you this evening. I know this must be rough, but hang in there, Tim. Thanks to Inspector Holiday, I'll be able to meet with Pikachu this afternoon. Until then, I'll just do what I can. First, I think I'll go check out the scene of the crime. I just don't believe Pikachu would destroy anything. The police must have gotten the wrong idea somehow. The crime took place at Fountain Plaza. Apparently someone broke something at the plasma, but the culprit has to be someone other than Pikachu. Assuming the culprit was a Pokemon, what kind of Pokemon could have been? There must be some evidence left behind that could at least tell me its type. I'll investigate Fountain Plaza and work out who the real culprit is. I bet it was those gosh darn Bedrill. Manic. Manic. I wonder if this is Brad's Manetric. Manic. Without Pikachu here, I have no idea what you're saying. Manic. 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 That area is off limits to the public. Sorry. Fountain Plaza is down the street from the police station, next to the Hi Hat Cafe. I should head there right away. Wait, which way? Sit down the street. Wait, which way? <laughs> okay, I generally don't know which way to go. Hello. Into Leon's partner. Hello, would you like to buy some flowers? Not right now, sorry. Or Pecco's partner. I never thought anything like that would happen in Fountain Plaza. Do you know if they've caught the culprit? They caught Pikachu. This is no time for a coffee break. I need to go investigate Fountain Plaza. Oh, this is- oh, it's this plaza. Huh? Someone's there. Wait, is that Brad? They're planting evidence. Why is he at the crime scene? Dude, he's also an investigator? Like, why? They're always surprised to see each other. Hmm. Was Brad examining that slowpoke statue? There aren't any other police officers around, though. Why only Brad? I'd better take a look myself. Unmanned shop? I can just cop everything. You're looking so cute today, too, Meritus. 
Shake your arms with a whole lot of energy. Yes, that's adorable. Practice. Maybe a Pokemon really did destroy the statue. Who could have broken the statue? Dude, these kids are so dumb. There's literally electricity. Yep. I think we got framed. All right. So, this is the scene of the crime. Maybe I can learn something by examining any traces the culprit left behind. Now, where should I look first? Hmm, maybe the thing that is literally... electrified right now. Oh! There are fragments of the Slowpoke statue on the ground. The statue must have been broken by a Pokemon move. Maybe I should pick one up for a better look. Ah! My hands got numb. These fragments must be charged with electricity. Hmm. The grass has been scorched. It must have been caused by a Pokemon that generates a lot of heat. Huh? What's with this water? I guess it must have spilled out of the fountain. The Slowpoke statue has been broken. This must be what Brad meant by property damage. The statue's got scorch marks on it. All right. I think I've seen about everything there is to see. Let's think. Which Pokemon was involved in the case? Begin deducing. I think it's safe to assume this incident was caused by a Pokemon. Looking- <coughs> Looking at the evidence, it may be possible to figure out who the culprit is. It has to be fire, because I think three out of the four elements have fire in it. What?! Could the scorched grass mean the culprit is a fire-type Pokemon? No. The fire would have spread to the grass nearby if that were the case. There would have been soot on the Slowpoke statue too. Dude, just fire me! Fire me! <laughs> okay, then it has to be electric then. Because I guess electricity can okay. cause fire. The statue's fragments are charged with electricity, so I think it was broken with an electric-type move. But Pikachu can't use any electric-type moves, so this crime must have been committed by another Pokémon. It'll be tough to prove Pikachu can't use any moves, though. I better find another way to prove Pikachu's innocence. So this was pointless. Literally pointless. Where did Pikachu go last night? If I figure that out, I might be able to provide him with an alibi. I should go where Pikachu most likely was, and hear what the people there have to say. He was at the coffee shop, like he always is. After we got back from the ruins yesterday, Pikachu went out on his own. And knowing him, Pikachu might have gone to the Hi Hat Cafe. I better go and check with Pablo. Hmm. Makes sense. I have to go to the cafe. Just let me explore. Oh, the two Pokemon back there aren't fighting anymore. Hmm. Hey. Hey, welcome. I see Pikachu's not with you today. We were actually on our way here this morning, but the police stopped us out front and arrested Pikachu. Wait, Pikachu was arrested? We're talking about your Pikachu, right? You know, now that you mention it, I did hear a commotion outside earlier. That must have been it. 
Did Pikachu do something bad? The police are saying that Pikachu is the one who damaged the Slowpoke statue in the Fountain Plaza. But there's no way Pikachu could have done it. I mean, he can't even use any moves. Yeah, no way you can deal that sort of damage without using moves. And besides, the statue got busted up last night, right? Pikachu was here at the cafe last night. Really? Oh, really? Please tell me more. Excuse me? Please tell me more about when Pikachu came here last night. Oh, it was the same as always. I gave him, as usual, a cup of freshly brewed black coffee. He sure seemed to enjoy it. About what time last night was that? I'm sorry, I don't remember. I guess we can't establish an alibi then. Check the tips! Oh, but he was still here when the evening news was playing on TV. If only I could remember the time the show came on. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Oh, please don't apologize, Pablo. You've been a huge help. Excuse me? So, you already knew what happened to the Slowpoke statue? Yeah, I couldn't believe my ears when I heard about it this morning. Such a shame. It must have been a really strong Pokemon if it could damage that Slowpoke statue. That thing looks solid. I really doubt your Pikachu could deal that kind of damage. He's weak. You can say that again, much as you'd hate to hear it. <laughs> Pardon me, then. Jokes aside, I doubt that incident was unnoticed. Some of the customers here may be able to tell you something about it. Go ahead. Ask around. Good idea. Thanks, Pablo. Excuse me? Excuse me. May I ask you a few questions? Depends. Who's asking? I'm trying to eat here, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to inconvenience you. I'm actually investigating the incident at Felton Plaza. Ah, you must be that detective kid. In that case, I'd be happy to help. Excuse me? Did you happen to see a Pikachu yesterday? I did indeed. Last night at Fountain Plaza. <gasps> no, that's not what we want to hear! At Fountain Plaza? Please, tell me more about that. By the time I saw the Pikachu, the Slowpoke statue had already been damaged. I only saw Pikachu from behind as it was leaving, but there was no mistaking that yellow back. The Pikachu just wandered off somewhere afterward. I see. Ooh, this is not the testimony we want to hear. Excuse me? Have you heard about what happened to the Slowpoke statue? Heard about it? I saw it with my own eyes, shattered. Such an awful thing to do, breaking a statue like that. You're investigating the incident, right? I hope you catch whoever did it. Yeah, I'm doing everything I can. Okay, this guy says he saw it, but he can't tell us who did it. He's in on it. The food and drinks here are all fantastic. This place really is the best. Excuse me? Hey, excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Hmm. What do you want to know? Excuse me? Did you see a Pikachu last night? A Pikachu? No. I didn't see one last night, but I did see one just a few minutes ago. I went to the police station to pick up something I'd lost, and I saw a Pikachu there. Really? How did it look? He seemed to be sleeping. An officer was carrying them into the station. Is there another Pikachu? Sleeping? How could he just doze off with all that's been going on? Is something wrong? Oh, no, it's nothing. Excuse me? Have you heard about what happened to the Slowpoke statue? Oh, yeah. I heard... I hear it was kind of wild. I haven't been to see the plaza myself, though. Oh, it's afternoon already. Maybe I can visit Pikachu now. Time to head over to the police station. I'll save you, Pikachu. Don't worry. Ah. 
I want to explore a bit more. I want to see if I can go down here. Ah, I can't! I wanted to break him out. Oh, Tim, your request has been approved by Inspector Holiday. You are now allowed to visit Pikachu. Thank you. Thank goodness. But before that, Tim, let me explain our part Pokemon partner visitation rules. Visitors are allowed in the afternoons. You can visit your partner a maximum of twice per day, but they cannot be consecutive visits. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Are you ready to visit your partner? No. I'm gonna wait. Sorry, there's something I need to do first. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't think there was anything I had to do, so I'll just visit him. I just wanted to see if there was a different sequence. Are you ready to visit your Pikachu? Yes. Then follow me. Well, I finally get to see Pikachu. I wonder how he's holding up. Apologies for the wait. Here's Pikachu to see you. Huh. So this is the visitation room. Tim! <laughs> Pikachu! Thank goodness. You really had me they worried. They can hold hands under the hey, money slot. Keep your voice down. Don't call attention to us. Oh. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Are you all right, Pikachu? This all happened so suddenly. I've been really worried. I don't blame you. Just think. A great detective like me being accused of a crime. The Pokemon Protection Bureau thinks you broke the Slowpoke statue in the Fountain Plaza. I took a look around this. I took a look around the scene myself. The statue fragments I found were electrified. That means the culprit is a Pokemon that can use electric-type moves. Hey, wait a minute. I can't use any moves. Don't worry, I know. You couldn't be the culprit. But I can't tell the PPB anything you've said. They'd never believe me. Yeah. If you tell them Pikachu says he's innocent, they're gonna look at you funny. I want you to tell me everything you know, Pikachu. I'm gonna prove your innocence. I knew I could depend on you. Sure. Ask away. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what you were doing last night? After we split up, I headed to the High Eye Cafe. I wanted to sit and think over what happened last night, and how all the cases we've handled so far might be connected. For that, I needed coffee. I stopped by the plaza on my way to the cafe, but at that point the Slowpoke statue was unharmed. Were there any other Pokemon around at the time? Maybe ones that could use electric type moves? No, I didn't see any. The Cobra must have arrived after I left. I see. Well, how about after you got to the cafe? Anything strange happen? Now that you mention it, while I was relaxing in the cafe, I remember hearing a loud clap of thunder or something outside. Thunder, huh? That might have been the sound of the electric type move that damaged the statue. About what time did you hear the sound? I don't remember the exact time, but I know that the evening news was on when I heard the noise. Thanks, Pikachu. I'm sure this information will come in handy. Mm -hmm. What happened after Brad took you away? I fell asleep in the car. By the time I woke up, I was in the detainment room. They drugged him. Wait, you fell asleep in the car? Was it especially comfortable or something? No more than any other car, I suppose. Not sure why I zonked out. That's not the only strange thing that's happened, though. There have been times in the station where I've just lost my memory. Wait, what? One moment I'll be in the detainment room, the next I'll be up on the roof with no idea how I got there. I heard an announcement that it was time for exercise, but I don't remember walking there myself. 
It almost sounds like something's using hypnosis on you. Hi, Mac. Wanted to pop in and say hi real quick? Hi, Mac. Also, bye, Mac. I'll see you tonight. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you and remind you. Pin chat. Wrong side. Pin chat. I will be in MAB stream tonight at 7 p.m. PSG. Very late. We're going to be playing Mario Kart. So make sure you are following our Twitch. That way you can play with us tonight. Pin chat. Twitch.tv slash MAB. E M I B E E F. Controversial. I think slippies are better when they're fully melted. <clears throat> I haven't seen any Pokemon here that can use a move like that, though. I've got a bad feeling about this station. The whole place seems off. Wait, what if it's a... Like a sting operation? All the other Pokemon here keep giving me a hard time. I think I drew too much attention. One even knocked me out with a move earlier. What? Are you okay? You're not injured, are you? No, nothing serious, but boy does it still sting. It was a pretty strong attack. Well... I'm glad you're all right, but try to stay out of trouble, okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'll be more careful next time. I hope you and the others can learn to get along. About how many other Pokemon are being held with you? I've met five others. All of them have a weird gizmo stuck in their backs, too. Come to think of it. It's probably a tag or something the PPB are using to keep track of us. If that's true, they might be able to use it to track you. No grand escape plans, okay? Me? Escape? I'd never! I'm gonna get out of here the right way, by proving my innocence. Based on what you told me, I think I can pin down where you were when the crime took place. Oh, really? Yeah. Just let me look back over my case notebook. Let's think. Let's get... To deducing. Hmm. Where was Pikachu when the crime took place? I should be able to deduce that based on what I heard at the cafe and from Pikachu himself. Hmm. He was at the coffee shop. Yes, I'm so okay. smart. Pikachu said he heard the sound of thunder outside the cafe during the evening news. And Pablo said Pikachu was inside the cafe when the news was on. That proves Pikachu was not at the scene of the crime when it occurred. He was at the Hi-Hat Cafe. Easy. Whoa. I know this goes without saying, Tim, but I'm innocent. You gotta find out who really did this. Mm -hmm. Hang in there, Pikachu. I'm gonna find the Pokemon that did this. Thanks, Tim. I'm counting on you. Just be careful while you investigate. Don't forget you're tracking down a Pokemon that can use powerful electric-type moves. Don't worry, Pikachu. I'll try not to get knocked out like you did. <laughs> you had to bring that up, didn't you? Ah, uh, well, as long as you understand. Chief Butler said he has proof that you committed the crime, Pikachu. So there's... So the... So maybe there's another Pikachu here in Rhyme City. Another Pikachu besides me. I think it's a little early to make that conclusion, but I'll admit it's possible. I'll keep investigating what I can in the station. There are a few other things nagging at me, too. Okay, I'll keep questioning people in the city. You'll get out soon. Aww. Just hang in there. Time's up. Hold on. We're not done yet. <laughs> What's wrong, Pikachu? My body's moving on its own. Huh? That light.
Containment Day One, Tim, Evening. Hmm. Pikachu was acting really strange just now. Maybe that's what he meant when he was take. Maybe that's what he meant when he was talking about losing his memory. I'm curious about that cube-shaped device on his back too. It's just about time to meet Inspector Holiday. I'll run to the questions by him. Man, time passes. Time passes so quickly here. <laughs> there you are, Tim. Just as we agreed, our little secret spot. Inspector Holiday. Sorry to drag you out like this. I know it must be a rough time for you. Now, I'd love to start our chat right away, but this might not be the best place. Let's talk over there. Excuse me. Thanks so much for arranging my visit with Pikachu, Inspector. That was the least I could do. I take it you were able to see him. Yes, thanks to you, but... You don't look too happy. Oh, I'm happy that I got to see him. But I feel like there's even more to worry about now. Did something happen? Before we get into that, Inspector, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Of course, I don't mind. Go right ahead. I think everybody is in on it. I think Tim's father tried to, like, reveal the corruption of the police force, so then they just kidnapped him. And now they're trying to make Pikachu be quiet, too. Did you know that Pikachu was going to be detained, Inspector? No, I was as I was as surprised as you were. Apparently, Mayor Myers wants the PPB to detain more Pokemon, so Chief Butler's been detaining any Pokemon he thinks may be a problem. To be fair, the evidence he presents always makes for an open and shut case, so detaining the Pokemon isn't without justification. But, but what? Is there something that bothers you? His aggressive approach is concerning. He's got the PPB running up Pokemon left and right, and they're not even gathering testimonies from residents. He won't even allow it. Yeah, that's what happened with Pikachu, too. Not that the PPB should be given anyone should give anyone special treatment, but even so. It just It makes me worry if this is really the way they should be approaching this. And you know what also is soon approaching? an ad break because guys we are an hour in the stream so it's time for me to run some ads you can avoid that ad by subscribing for 4.99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long or you can link your amazon prime to your twitch and hashtag sub for free with prime click subscribe see if you have a prime sub available get some water get a snack i will see some of you guys in a few I think the blue suit guy is planting evidence and then framing all the Pokemon. I think they're evil! Back to it. We're gonna solve this mystery. Um... Can you tell me more about Chief Butler? 
I saw you together this afternoon. Do you two usually work together? Lately, yes, but it's not like we're shoulder to shoulder at every moment. Though if I'm being honest, it does feel like he's got his eye on me. Well, what do you mean by that? On the one hand, my job as a police inspector requires me to cooperate with the Pokemon Protection Bureau. But on the other hand, I don't agree with Butler's methods. I've said as much to Butler, but he just dismisses me and carries on unchanged. This has happened several times, and I fear it's made Chief Butler a bit wary of me. Wary enough to keep an eye on me and make sure I don't do anything unnecessary. Wow. Sounds like things have been rough for you too, Inspector. Excuse me? When I met with Pikachu, I noticed a cube-shaped device of some kind on his back. Do you know what that thing was? Those devices are attached to all Pokemon that have been detained. I've been told there's some sort of management tag for keeping track of the detained Pokemon. But that's all I know, unfortunately. What? Even you don't fully know what those devices are? The PPB has a lot of secrets, and they don't share them with anyone. Not even the police. Their security is watertight too, so it's hard for me to investigate them independently. So even you can't find out more, huh? Hmm... How did the blue pelican get a square device on his back then? Was it planted by the police? <gasps> what if Holiday planted it? I feel like Holiday is a op. I think he's a fed. Do you know anything about all the commotion last night, Inspector? Ah, oh, you're talking about all this Beedrill going berserk, right? That's under the that's under the PPB's jurisdiction. The police haven't given That's under the PPB's jurisdiction. The police haven't been giving it <laughs> I hate reading out loud. But it keeps my brain young. I gotta do it. That's under the PPB's jurisdiction. The police haven't been giving it. Dude, I can never do an audiobook. I can never do it. That's under the PPB's jurisdiction. The police haven't been given any information about it. Interesting. We may cooperate with the PPB, but we're largely kept in the dark about their operations and plans. Well, thanks. If anyone knew something, I thought it'd be you. I wish I could be more help. Oh no, not at all. I understand the situation a bit better now, thanks to you. So that's the situation. Oh, that's his voice. Hmm. This is quite the place for a conversation, gentlemen. Uh-oh. Is he gonna lock us up? Hmm. Well, if it isn't the young detective, what a surprise. Evening, Chief Butler. Can I help you with something, Chief? No. I just happen to be passing by. But while I'm here, Inspector Holiday, I hope you're not making rash decisions without consulting me first. Who wouldn't dream of it? Glad to hear it. After all, it's vital that the Bureau and the police both follow proper procedure. In any case, I'll excuse myself now. We're literally just like beside the building. We're not even in an alley. I find it hard to believe he just happened to be passing by at this exact moment. This is what I mean when I say he's got an eye on me. You be careful out there, Tim. Nothing good will come of it if nothing good will come of it if Chief Butler sets his sights on you. So that's what you've been trying to tell me. I'm worried about you and Pikachu. Unfortunately I can't do much to openly help you in my current situation. But I know you'll figure out how to prove Pikachu's innocence. I believe in you. Thank you, Inspector. Well, I'll see you later, Tim. Hmm. Pikachu started acting weird when the cube-shaped device started glowing. I was told it was just a tag for management purposes, but I'm not so sure about that. The witness statements I've heard about Pikachu raised some questions as well. Maybe I'll learn something if I ask around about the other Pokemon that were detained. That said, there aren't many people out and about at this time of day. Oh, there might be still some customers at the Hi Hat Cafe. I'll head over there.
Yeah, we're literally just like outside the station. We're we're not doing anything suspicious. Ooh, who are you? Oh dear, oh dear. Where did they run off to? Excuse me. Um, is something wrong? Wait, aren't you that detective I read about in the newspaper? Well, look, could you please help me search for my gossip lure? Gossip lure. That's a grass-type Pokemon with a pretty singing voice, right? I should have known a detective would really know his stuff. I'm part of a choir that sings with gossip lure. But some of the gossip lure went off to play and haven't come back. We need to leave the city soon to be on time for our next performance. In that case, I'll gladly help you. Thank you, detective. If you find the gossip room, please ring this bell. It's the signal we use to regroup, so gossip learn should understand that it's time to go. There are two gossip learn total that have gotten separated from us. Two of them. Got it. I'll let you know if I see them. Yeah, I saw one of them. They were literally outside the station. Hello? Gossip Learn. Sings beautifully. Fleur? Oh, there's a Gossip Learn here. It must be part of that choir. Fleur? Um, I just need to ring this bell, right? Alright. Good. Looks like it's heading back to rejoin the choir. That's one. There's the other one. At the scene of the crime? Fleur? Is this one of the gossip from the choir? I'll try ringing that bell they lent me. All right. Yep, it must have been part of the choir. Looks like it's heading back to them now. All right. I rang the bell for both gossip I guess that means I'm done looking for them. I hope they all reunited. I should go check on them. I hope you'll come see us sing the next time we're in the city. That was quick. Dude, they were literally like around the corner. Hmm. Hey, the squirrel guy is still here. The only place I've seen the squirrel is in Pokemon Unite. He's super annoying. Mm -hmm. Oh good, I knew there would still be customers here. I should ask around and see if anyone can tell me more about the Pokemon being detained. The news is on. Sounds like more and more Pokemon have been causing problems. And the police have been detaining a lot of Pokemon. Pikachu is definitely not the only one. But there's nothing in the news about Pikachu's detainment yet. Okay, yeah, I didn't mean to go to the door. Excuse me. Excuse me. May I ask you a few questions? What do you want? I'm trying to enjoy the show. Sorry. <laughs> I'm investigating last night's incident and was hoping you could answer a few questions. Well, okay. I suppose I can help you with that. Excuse me. Have you ever seen a Pikachu around the city? If you mean the famous Detective Pikachu, then yes. But have you seen any other Pikachu? No, I haven't. Okay. Thanks anyway. Maybe there is really only one Pikachu in the city. Excuse me? Have you witnessed any Pokemon being detained? Yes, I saw a Pankaro being taken into custody. At first I was scared of Pankaro because of its size, but it turned out to be surprisingly cute. While it, while it was walking with the police officer, Pankaro was waving its hands like it was dancing. Wait. Dancing? 
Yes, it flapped its hands around for a little while, just like it was dancing. Why would Panguro do that? Wait, this is just like the Pokemon episode with the Hypnos. Where they had like a Hypno in like an underground warehouse and it was summoning Pokemon and they were dancing. Why would Panguro do that? I really couldn't tell you. Fair enough. That's a strange story though. <laughs> do you come to this cafe often? Yes, I love the coffee here. Pablo really knows his stuff. When I brew my own coffee, it never tastes as good as he does. Because he puts a crack in it. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Another amazing performance from Lily Toad's band tonight. Excuse me. Excuse me. May I ask you a few questions? Hi, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Welcome in. Hello, I like that. <laughs> Dude, I swear that is like an account my sister would make. <laughs> anyway, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Excuse me. May I ask you a few questions? Hmm. What can I do for you? Excuse me? Have you seen any Pikachu around the city? Other than Detective Pikachu, I mean. Oh well, I see Detective Pikachu right here in this cafe all the time. As for the Pikachu, no, I can't think of any. Got it. Thanks. Excuse me? Have you witnessed any Pokemon being detained? Yeah, I have. I saw a police officer taking an impidip away. Did you happen to see some kind of cube-shaped device as well? Oh yeah, definitely. The police got one out. The impidimp looked really happy. Practically snatched the thing right out of the officer's hands. It was so excited. What? It was? Um, must have been a pretty carefree impidimp then. <laughs> Why is he like chuckling when he asked you come here often? Is he like rizzing? <laughs> These people are way too old for you, Tim. Do you come to this cafe often? Yeah. You can't beat the food and the music here. Polytoad's band is great, don't you think? They can do everything. Rock, jazz, ballads, you name it. They've got amazing range. Excuse me. Excuse me. May I ask a few questions? I'm um, sure. What do you want? Excuse Have you me? ever seen a Pikachu around the city? If you're asking about Detective Pikachu, I've seen him on the news a few times. I'm looking for a regular Pikachu, not the detective. Then I'm afraid I can't help you. Sorry. Oh, no need to apologize. I appreciate your time. Excuse me? Have you witnessed any Pokemon being detained? Yes, I saw a group of Pokemon. Three, I believe, getting rounded up and taken away. Did you happen to see some kind of cube-shaped device as well? I did, now that you mention it. One of the police officers attached some to the Pokemon's backs. The Pokemon resisted at first, but they calmed down once the devices were on them. It's strange how they all went quiet so suddenly. That does, so that does sound kind of unnatural. I wonder what those devices are. Dude, he's, he's definitely rizzing. <laughs> he needs to calm down. Do you come to this cafe often? I saw it showcased on TV a little while ago, so I came to check it out. This is my first time here, but it really is a nice place, isn't it? The coffee's great and the little colo is so cute. Yes, I'm pretty sure I'll be back. Let's think. Let's think. Time for deducing. Oh, wait, we didn't talk to Pablo. Hey. Oh, Tim, you're back. But Pikachu still hasn't been released, huh? Not yet, no. But I know he's innocent. If the culprit was a Pikachu, it must have been a different one. Are you aware of any other Pikachu in the city? 
Hmm. Not off the top of my head, no. Yeah, I thought as much. Sorry I can't be more of a help. No, it's okay. Just talking about this with you is really helping me out. Speaking of which, there are a few other things I'd like to ask. Sure, what's on your mind? Excuse me? Have you seen the police detain any Pokemon, by chance? Nah. I spend most of my time here in the cafe, but my customers might have seen something. Thanks, I'll ask him. Good luck, Tim. <laughs> Dude, he's rinsing! He's rinsing everybody! Looks like you're pretty busy even at night. Yeah, and I'm very thankful for that. You know, there are some Pokemon singing on the stage in the back. They usually play rock, but it sounds like tonight they're doing ballads. I'm sure your investigation is keeping you busy, but if you've got some spare time, feel free to hang out and hear them perform. I didn't know there were Pokemon like that here in Rhyme City. They're all friends of Ludicola. I'm glad that so many Pokemon enjoy my humble little cafe. Let's think. Let's get to deducing. Mm -hmm. Did something strange happen when the Pokemon were detained? I should try to think of something that fits what I saw during my visit with Pikachu. Okay, so they're not toys. Devices to make the Pokemon dance? Or device for controlling Pokemon? Ain't no okay. way. Could they be devices for controlling Pokemon? Maybe the Pokemon Protection Bureau uses them for stuff like detaining rampaging Pokemon. But if that's the case, is Pikachu okay? I hope it doesn't have any negative effects on him. They're indoctrinating our Pokemon. Well, it's getting late. I guess I'll continue my investigation tomorrow. Yeah, you got a long day, Tim. Both you and the police have been burning the midnight oil lately. I'm impressed. Oh. Were the police here? Yeah. I saw Brad for a moment. He said he was going to Fountain Plaza. Oh, really? Maybe I'll talk to Brad before I go home. He's here again. What are you doing working out here so late? Why, hello there, great detective. I've finished my work for today, actually. I just thought I'd unwind a bit by gazing at the fountain before heading home. Shame someone went and broke the statue, though. With all due respect, Brad, Pikachu didn't do this. Is that so? And what are you doing out here at this hour? I'm trying to figure out what really happened in this case, and to find the real culprit. Well, good luck with that. Brad, wait. Please. You came here this afternoon too, didn't you? So you saw me. Do you, actually? No. Huh. Manny? What is it, Brad? Oh, nothing. I think I'll be going home now. After all, tomorrow's bound to be another busy day. So many Pokemon to detain, so little time. You better get home soon, too. A kid like you shouldn't be out past his bedtime. Manic. Brad looked like he was about to say something, but changed his mind. And he seemed to be so deep in thought about something, which isn't like him at all. It does make me curious, but it doesn't change what I have to do. I just need to keep investigating this case. But as much as I'd like to keep examining the scene, Fountain Plaza's gotten so dark that I doubt I'll find any new evidence. I'll call it a day and start up again tomorrow. That's when I'll track down the real culprit and solve this case. Detainment Day 2. Pikachu. Morning. Wow. Wait, do they all, like, have to share a bed? Huh. 
Is it morning already? Yeah. This sure isn't the most close. This sure isn't the most comfortable place I've ever slept. But I guess, but I guess complaining is not going to get me out of here any quicker. Tim's working hard to prove my innocence. I need to do what I can from the inside. Just watch, Tim. This great detective's going to find some even greater evidence. Say. <laughs> Rough first day, huh? That's what you get for talking back to Luxoray. I wasn't expecting him to be so strong. If you know what's good for you, you'll keep that big mouth of yours shut. Do you remember meeting before? Not here. Somewhere else a long time ago. Nope, pretty sure I don't know any Pangaro. Really? Sorry. I must have been thinking of someone else. It's really dim and humid down here, by the way. I know we're in the police station, but which floor? We're in the basement. All the Pokemon are locked up down here. How many floors does this station have? I don't know. But I do know that there are humans on the floor above us. Figures? Is there any way to get out of this room? A list of things I want to investigate is getting longer by the minute. You still want to make waves. Even after what happened yesterday. If a little zap could scare me off, I never would have become the great detective standing before you. You're a funny guy. Well, whatever you're planning, you had to talk to Luxury about it first. He's been here longer than I have, so he knows more about the place. Wow. Just the guy I wanted to talk to. You gonna chicken out? Don't make me laugh. You just watch. I'll have him convinced in two shakes of my tail. Yeah, that's the spirit. Good luck. Yeah, just shove me in that hole. I'm like perfectly sized. Say. Hey, I want to talk to Luxury. How can I make that happen? You think Luxury wants to talk to the likes of you? Forget about it. Not gonna happen. I thought you might say that. Well, say we settle this with a contest, Sableye. A contest? Yeah, but no fighting. We're in a police station, after all. This is a battle of wits between you and me. If you win, then I'll keep quiet. Just like you want, but if I win... Bold words for a newbie, okay. You're on. I'm gonna hide three jewels around the bed. All you gotta do is look for them. Find all three and I'll let you talk to Luxray. Are you sure that's how you want to play this? I'm a detective, you know. Finding things is my whole shtick. And hiding things is mine. You could serve it a little... And hiding things is mine. You could serve it a life sentence and still never find them. Now turn away and close your eyes. Okay. You can open them again. Now find those jewels. <laughs> if you can. <laughs> Okay, now to search for those jewels. There should be three in all. Hey. It's detecting time. Okay, it's literally sparkling. Dude. Dude, he's so bad at hiding. Huh? All right, found you. Oh, they're like felt fruit. It's not even, I thought these were real fruit. These plush toys are shaped like berries. I hope nobody mistakenly tries to eat them. Huh? A toy box, eh? There sure is a lot of stuff inside. I'll try to get a look at it from a different angle. Dude, Sableye is so bad at his job. Huh? Aha! Here's one. I still haven't found all three jewels yet. Not yet, anyway. Okay, well, there's nothing else for me to click. Hmm. 
Yeah, I can't click on anything else. I found it. Huh? Huh? Well, he hit a jewel here. Kind of feels like he's making fun of me. Okay. Looks like there's nothing more to see here. Say. Did you find the jewels? You bet I did. Every last one. <laughs> what do you think of that? What? I never thought you could find all three. Now you're going to keep your promise and tell Luxray I want to talk to him, right? I probably don't even have to tell him. This is Luxray we're talking about. He can see through walls, you know. He's probably watching our room as we speak. See through walls, huh? Bet that comes in handy. All leaving you now is a way to reach Luxray's room. You can just talk to him on the roof. No. I don't have the time to wait for that. There's gotta be another way. Hmm. I wonder that hole in the wall. Hmm. That looks like a duct. You think I could get into another room through it? The problem is getting up there. I can't just climb up like with Executor. You're hopeless. Just shove him in there. Here we go, I guess. What are you? Dude, he just gets tossed around all the time. I'm gonna talk to everybody but Luxray. <laughs> oh, you're that little weak little newbie from yesterday. What'd you come in here for? You act so high and mighty, but I bet you're not really that strong. Stronger than you, at least. Some new newbies got brought up to the other rooms today, but I bet none of them are as weak as you. There are more rooms? I wonder what's in them. Luxray has been waiting for you. So, you've come, Pikachu. Hi, Luxray. Thanks for that. Hi, Luxray. Thanks for that electrifying introduction yesterday. You talk too much, and yet, perhaps you're not all talk. I saw what you did with Sableye. It looks like you do have a brain in your head, at least. I see you finally recognize what I'm capable of. Well, didn't you have something to discuss with me? Yeah. Something's fishy going on in this station and it stinks. I want to solve this mystery and prove my innocence. You think you can do that? I don't think I can. I know I can. At least, if I have my partner and all of you working together with me. Is that so? Well then... Why not? Wow. You didn't take much convincing. I feel like I've got all worked up for nothing. I have my own motives. I merely thought that working together may help me achieve my goals. That's all. Then why weren't you friendlier to begin with? If I invited every newcomer to join my cause, I would soon find myself burdened by incompetence. So, you were testing me, huh? I'm not sure you and I are going to get along too well. So, what do you plan to do now? First, I need some information. What can you tell me? More newcomers arrived today. There are two more detainment rooms apart from ours, so it appears they were put in there. Some newly detained Pokemon? The plot thickens. Wait, Pikachu. Enough talk for now. A human is coming this way. Go back to your room at once. Sure. Thanks for the warning, Luxray. That vision of yours really is something else. There is no time for idle banter. Hurry. Okay, okay. See you later, then. Huh? Someone's coming. You know who else will be 
joining. <laughs> um, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Because we did a rare Sunday stream today. Flappy's gone. Hmm. Looks like you've been behaving. Isn't that Butler? Why would the chief come down here himself? I heard there was a bit of a tussle yesterday, but it looks like Pikachu's not injured. Were you worried about me? Ha, shucks. Huh, what a hassle. Huh? I'm sick of this. Oh, what's going on? It's like you suddenly flipped the personality switch. Why do I have to personally go out of my way to check on him? What a waste of time. It's just one measly Pikachu. Hey, watch what you're saying about me. Oh, shut up, Pika Pika, all you want. No one's coming to rescue you. Read my lips. You're never getting out of here. What was that all about? He was like a totally different person from the guy we met before. The mysteries just keep piling up in this place. But at least he's gone now. Time to get back to the investigation. I'll go visit the new Pokemon that they just brought in today. Go to the rooms where the newly detained Pokemon are being held. Say. So, you're good with Luxury, huh? Nice work, Pikachu. I knew you could do it. Well, talk about an attitude adjustment. An adjustment you've earned, come on. I'll tell you anything you want to know, since we're pals and all. Hey. So, Sableye, tell me a bit about yourself. I can eat gems. Some call it a skill. But that's just how I enjoy those tasty treats. Wow, that's amazing. You must have some awfully strong teeth. Hmm. What are you in for, Sableye? A while back, a human suddenly snatched me and brought me here. Same with me, but what did you do? I don't know what I did. I guess that human just felt like putting me here. Hmm. Say. Well, I can't eat any gems here, which has been bugging me a lot lately. And, well... Yeah, go on. I guess I just wish Luxury would lean on me a little more. I want to help him out, but Luxury seems to have something else on his mind. Oh. Huh. You're a surprisingly good guy underneath it all. So you're worried about Luxorin. What do you mean, surprisingly? I'm allowed to be worried about someone. What's wrong with that? Easy, easy. Don't get so heated. I'll go see what Luxorin has to say, okay? Huh? Sounds like you're able to talk to Luxorin. Yeah, thanks to your help with that. Don't worry about it. Just let me know if there's something else I can do. Hmm. Actually, can I ask you some questions? Hey. Tell me about yourself, Bungaro. Well, just look at me. I'm good at jobs that require muscle. Uh, that's a big help, but... If you have to throw me again, maybe don't use all that muscle next time. Hmm. So, what are you in for, Bungaro? I have no idea. I was just living my life, minding my own business, when suddenly the police surrounded me. Then they put this cube thing on my back. And after that, it's just like what happened to you. What kind of slipshod operation are they running? I'm amazed you went so quietly. To tell you the truth, I don't remember that part. Nothing at all. I guess you could say... I just suddenly woke up here. It felt the same as when we go to the roof, if that makes sense. Interesting. So it can happen outside the station too. Hey. Is there anything about this place that's worrying you? This room is too small. 
Yeah, I imagine it would be for a big guy like you. And I don't like the voice we hear when it's time to go to the rook. Whenever we hear that voice, my head goes all fuzzy and I feel sick. Same. It's almost... Same. I also lost my memory of what happened right after that announcement. Covering my ears doesn't help either. I hate it. Hmm. The Luxury says there's two other detainment rooms. I wonder what's going on there. I ought to go through the ducks and check. All right, Pangoro. Go slow, okay? <laughs> Aim for the speed record. Got it. Yeah. Pikachu would be finding Whoa. himself in holes all the time. A perfect ten point landing. <sighs> Phew. That was close, but I managed to get out. Okay. I made it to another room. One that isn't mine or Luxray's. I should go talk to the new Pokemon I heard were bought here. Wait, this Pokemon was just outside. Into Leon. Crack shot guardian. Hey, into Leon. Can I talk to you for a bit? And who are you supposed to be? Well, I'm the great Detective Pikachu. I'm looking for info that could help us get out of here. Now I get it. You must come from one of the other rooms. I only just arrived here today. What do you suppose I can do to help? I'm just trying to learn what I can. Even the smallest detail can make a big difference. All right, I'll do what I can to assist you. Thanks, your pal. Hey. So, what's your story, Antileon? I can shoot water from my fingers. I water flowers to help them grow. That's nice of you. Seems like that skill would come in handy, and not just for gardening. I suppose I could use Water Gun to play with other Pokemon, but that's not really my speed. I'd rather live a more peaceful, elegant life. Hmm. So, what are you in for, Angelion? Mistaken identity, I'm afraid. They seem to think I'm the lowlife who went berserk at the flower shop. It's rather upsetting. Gardening is my passion, after all. So, you didn't do it? Of course not. I'm the floor's partner. I help her tend to the flowers every day. Why would I ruin them? Makes sense. I believe you, Antilion. Thank you. But I do wonder who the real culprit is. Hey. Is there anything else that's been on your mind lately? I know that my human partner must be so worried for my sake. And I'm worried about the flowers and plants I left behind. Do you think they'll grow strong without me? I'm sure they'll be okay. Plants can be surprisingly tough. I certainly hope so. Yes, I have to believe that. More Pekka. Angered when hungry. Hey, Morbeko, can I talk to you for a second? I got nothing to talk about. Got any food? The PPB's been providing us with food. Huh? You think I got time to wait for those bozos? Well, while we're waiting, why don't you chat with me? It'll help kill time. You're annoyingly persistent, you know that? Hey. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself, Morbeko? Well, I know this one move. It's pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. It goes back and forth between being an electric-type move and a dark-type move. An electric-type move, you say? Just to be clear, you haven't done anything to a slowpoke statue, have you, Morpeko? What the heck are you talking about? Why would I do something like that? That's what I thought. Never mind. Forget it. Hmm. So, what are you in for, Morpeko? I'm in here because of some lousy, stinking, no-good humans. 
They stole someone's food! Why the heck would I go and do a thing like that? Erg. Just thinking about it makes me so mad! I understand how you feel, but please, try to calm down. Making a scene in here won't solve anything. Stop telling me what to do! Hey. Is there anything about this place that's been eating at you? Get it? Eating. Yeah, there's nothing to eat! How many times do I gotta tell you? Now give me some food already! Sadly, I don't have any food to share with you, buddy. You're so hungry! And so mad! I'm sure they'll bring you some food later. Just hang in there for a bit longer. Hmm. Luxury said there were two other rooms, which leaves one more to go. I'll try going there, too. Let's see. How can I get up to the duct? Thanks for the help, Intellion. And, uh, Intellion. Good thing. Try not to bite uh -huh. your tongue. Okay. Okay. This is the last room. It looked like I could get up the. It looked like I could get up to the next floor through the duct, but who knows where I'd pop out? I don't want to draw too much attention yet. Right now, I'm just gathering intel. Hey, it's this guy. Greedent. Berries or bust. Hey, greet it. Can I ask you some questions? Sure, that's fine. But who are you? Well, I'm the great detective Pikachu. Don't worry, I am on your side. Wow, a great detective? That's so cool. So, what do you want to ask me? Hey. What can you tell me about yourself, Greedent? My teeth are stronger than other Pokemon's. I can bite through and chew down on any berry. Mind using those nice hard chompers of yours to chew a hole in the wall to get us out of this room? Is that a serious question? Huh. Guess I have bit off more than I could chew with that question. Hmm. So tell me, Greedent. What are you in for? Who knows? Because I sure don't. I was just eating berries today like I do every day. <laughs> okay, why am I doing an accent? <laughs> You didn't steal those berries from anyone, did you? I can never do a thing such like that. Stealing stone was bound to get you into a fight, you know. No matter how badly I want a berry, I'd never get in a fight over one. That sounds painful. I feel ya. But in that case, what did the PPB detain you for? Hey. Is anything bothering you, Greedent? Just that there aren't any berries here. You don't happen to have any, do you? Afraid not. Oh, if you find any, could you please give me them to me? Sure, I... <laughs> sure, I guess. But I doubt I'll find any berries just lying around the police station. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen berries in this building. But I did see some trash. What sort of trash? Want to see for yourself? This is a note written by a human. It says 2168. It doesn't mean anything to me. Mind if I take this note? Well, okay. But only because I can't eat it. Thanks, Greedent. 2168. 2168. <laughs> That's the name. Electricity, please. Oh, I did a name. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Aw, oh, you're Pikachu, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, I I'm Pikachu. What a- It's all your fault! I'm here because of you! Whoa, wait a second. What are you talking about? You broke the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza, didn't you? Thanks to you, all the humans are suspicious of me! You gotta be kidding me. Are they just rounding up any Electro-type Pokemon they find? Listen, Denonite. I'm not the one who broke the Slowpoke statue. Huh? 
then why do they bring me in? I'm trying to figure that out. That's why I want to hear what you know. Hey. You can use electric type moves, right, Danene? So, what about it? You sure you didn't damage that slowpoke statue? Nah, uh, of course you didn't. Why in the world would I wreck some statue? What possible could what what possible good could that do for me? Point taken. Sorry for doubting you. Hmm. So you said it was my fault you were brought here, dead and I. They must think that I'm in good hoots with you or something, but I don't even know you. Come on, cut me some slack already. Seriously, what's the PPB even thinking? If they really think I'm the culprit, then detaining me should have been the end of it. Hmm. Oh, I accidentally misclicked. Hey. Has anything been worrying you since you got here? Are you seriously asking me that? The only thing I care about is when I'm getting out of here. I need to go back home. I've got a human partner who's probably worried sick about me. Yeah, I get that. I don't want Tim to worry either. So, you were brought here too, eh, Watchdog? What are you doing here, Pikachu? The same as you, I'd imagine. Huh? What? W what do you mean? Just calm down for a second. I want to ask you some questions, Watchdog. Hey. Can you tell me more about yourself, Watchdog? I can make my eyes glow. That's brilliant. I bet that makes it a walk in the park to see where you're going at night. But you better not look at me then. I'm close so much you can be blind. Hmm. How'd you end up in here, Watchog? No, wait, I'm pretty sure I can guess the answer right now. What, well, what do you mean? You were snatched up by some humans over something you're pretty sure you didn't do, right? Yes, exactly. Wow. Good guess, Pikachu. That's what everyone here has been saying. I arrived here last night. What about you, Watchog? Today, not so long ago, actually, I was startled by a group of humans suddenly surrounding me. At first, I thought it was just a really popular Pokemon, but I guess not. It must have been alarming, having people get the jump on you like that. Hey. Anything bothering you right now, Watchog? I was protecting the city the best way I know how, so I hope everything's fine out there without me. That's what's bothering me. With all these Pokemon getting detained, it seems like things out there are anything but fine. But I don't know if there's much you could do to stop it, even if you were out keeping watch. Oh, I hate feeling so powerless. Hmm. All the Pokemon here say they're brought in for things they didn't do. There's a few too many incident. There's a few too many innocent Pokemon being detained to chalk it all up to a coincidence. Doesn't anyone else think it's strange? I better broaden the scope of my investigation a bit. I'll go talk to Luxray again. Well... Okay. How do I get up there? Watchog, I'm counting on you. What? Leave it to me. Watchog. Make sure you curl up into a ball. What? I did it! Ow. You look so cute, but you must be smart too for Lexaray to invite you into his inner circle like he did. Well, looks aren't everything, what matters are feelings. My goodness, such stirring words. You're just full of surprises, aren't you? He's rising. I think Leopard wants him. Hey. Tell me about yourself, Leopard. Let's see. Well, I can move around very discreetly. That's about it in terms of special skills. If you can do that, can't you escape this police station? That would be difficult. The police may not notice me, but I can't deceive a machine. Hmm. Why were you brought here, Leopard? I was spending time with my friends Luxray and Sableye. The three of us were brought here at the same time a while ago. They rounded up the whole group of you, did they? 
Not quite. Our friend Mariana was also with us that day. He's the only one who managed to avoid capture. Why only Mariana? I don't know. Luxury knows more details, but he won't tell me. Hey. Has anything been worrying you, Leopard? Yes. I'm worried about Luxury. He seems so down, as if something is weighing heavily on his mind. Any idea what that could be? You'll have to ask him, I'm afraid. Perhaps he'd be willing to open up to you. <laughs> I think Luxury killed Mariana. He must be pretty amazing to get into Luxury's good graces even though you're so weak. I'm not sure if that's a compliment or an insult. It's a compliment, of course. By the way, when can we get out of here? Whoa there, impidim. Slow your roll. I'm still just exploring the building. Oh, okay. I'm looking forward to leaving this place, though. Hey. Can you tell me a little about yourself, imp impidim? I'm good at playing pranks. Startling people is so much fun. What sort of pranks? So, like, after dinner's over, I like to prank my partner real good by carrying his dirty dishes to the kitchen. Uh, is that a prank? That's not a prank. Impidimp is just a little sweetheart. <laughs> Luxury here in the cobble right now? Nah, I bet everybody just plugs their ear in solidarity. It's what you gotta do when you live in a cell. <clears throat> How'd you wind up in here, Limp Impidimp? And why? I used to live with my human partner. But one day, a police officer showed up while I was playing by myself and took me here. Had you done anything bad? Mmm, I mean like pranks and all, but I don't think I did anything worth locking me up like this. Uh, I just want to get out of here soon so I can see my partner. All these Pokemon are so sweet. Hey. Anything worrying you, Impidimp? I guess just thinking about my partner. He's a happy-go-lucky kind of guy who really enjoys my pranks. I just hope he hasn't forgotten about me. I'd be so lonely without him. Don't worry. No one could ever forget a guy like you. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't mean to talk to you, sorry. Oh, Pikachu. You're back. Yeah. I went and checked out those other rooms. More and more Pokemon keep getting brought in here and none of them have done anything wrong. Just like those of us in here. So, it's the same story with you guys, huh? You should talk to your other You should talk to the others yourself if you want more details. Will do. But also, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. I want to get out of the detainment rooms and investigate the rest of the station. Do you know how I can do this without being noticed? No humans will find us if I use my special vision to avoid them. Now that'd be out of sight. <laughs> get it? But how can you and me get out of here? That's simple enough. We just need to open the door. What? What are you talking about? There's a room nearby where many humans gather. In that room is a machine. The humans appear to lock and unlock rooms by operating the machine. Must be a guard room. So they're managing these doors with machines instead of keys. I'm surprised you knew all that. I observed the humans through the walls as they operated the machine. But I don't understand how it works and I can't leave this room. That's where I come in, eh? Do you know anything else like what sort of controls they used? They appear to be pressing down on some small protrusions. Maybe it needs a passcode or something. Oh yeah, there was that note from earlier. Can you get that from that duct in the wall? Well, no till I try. There are currently no humans in that room, but don't let your guard down. What is it? Weren't you going to investigate that machine? Yeah, 
There's a number on this note, 2168. I think it's the passcode. But I first want to ask you a couple things, Luxray. Hey. You are a Pokemon of many talents, Luxray. Not only do your Electro-type moves pack a punch, but you can even see through walls and things. I gotta say, I'm pretty jealous. Both of those are natural as breathing to me. You can generate electricity too, can't you, Pikachu? Mine is no different. Um, uh, yeah. What is it? Why are you making that face? Hmm. So, Luxray, is it safe to assume you have no idea why you were captured? No, I do have an idea. Is it something you did? I don't feel like getting into that right now. Hey, come on, now you got me curious. Stop questioning me and go investigate that machine while the humans are still away. Hey. Is there something that's been on your mind, Luxray? I'm certainly beginning to wonder if you'll ever go and open that door. All in good time. Anything else bothering you? I won't say there isn't, but it's nothing I need to talk to you about. Ah, uh, Inera thought we were working together. Why won't you open up? Why won't you open up a little? We are working together, and that's all we are doing. I don't think he likes me. You know what else? I don't like ads, but you know what? I gotta do it, cause guys, we are two hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long, or. You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. And if you're new here, click follow. That one is free. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Let's see, which room should I go to? The guard room. Obviously. Come on, Lightbird. You got this? I'll try. I do hope we're successful. Eh? <laughs> 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 At least no one saw that. Hey. This should be the room Luxury was talking about. They must control the detainment rooms from here. So where's the machine he mentioned? Love the music in this room? a floor plan to the police station. It seems to be made for the public, but that's okay. This will make it easier to explore the station. Let's see... I'm in the basement level of the building. There are two stories up above, and that's where the human offices are located. I think I'll borrow this map for a while. This ought to be the machine that can unlock all the doors to our rooms. Just like I thought. It's set up to open the doors when a numeric passcode is entered. I'll try the number for the note Greedent gave me. Okay, first try. I'm in. Perfect. Huh. Yes. Work like a charm. That should open the doors. Hey. Now I gotta hightail it back to the detainment rooms before any cops show up. Jailbreak! <laughs> Guess what? I unlocked the doors. Now we can explore the rest of the police station. Well done. I was right to join forces with you. Finally giving me my due credit, huh? 
Then let's get to investigating. Yes, let's. You can ride on my back. Luxray, let's do this. He's not gonna bend down, is he? Come on! Can't someone give me a little help? <laughs> you can't even get yourself up there. How precious. Whoa, oh, not like that! Oh. Let's go, Luxray! Where shall we inspect first? I'd like to hear what your plan is. Well, if we're looking at a station investigation, let's start with the first floor. According to the floor plan, we can find a reference room there. The first floor? Very well. All right, Luxray, let's go. We're out. Yeah, everybody, jailbreak! Wait, stay open. Wait, they just reclosed, that's so dumb. Be careful, Pikachu. There seems to be a human inside that room. There weren't any people there when I was in the room earlier. They must have just come back. We need to be very careful going forward then. The last thing we want is for them to notice us. A ride action. If you're near something looks or it can see through, such as a wall, see through objects will display. Press the R button at this time to see through walls and other objects. See into the room so you can sneak by the police. Officers, when they aren't looking, if they catch you, you'll have to start over. <laughs> you just walk in place. Okay, so I think all the other Pokemon should just stay so we don't cause a ruckus. He's in the room. It doesn't appear like he's leaving. Oh, Oops. oh we've been spotted. Dude, the door was closed. How careless of me. We're not out just yet. Darn it, let's try again. Maybe I need to go through another door? Oh wait, maybe when I, I need to go when he's not looking at the door. Like now? Oh, okay, really? <laughs> Operator error. Now, which room do you want to go for? Just a second, I'm checking the floor plan. First up is the reference room, which we're close to now. After that, let's head to the meeting room right next to it. It looks like there's a really big room in the back, too. There are a lot of humans in that room. In that case, we should probably leave that one for later. Then let's begin with the nearby room and the one next to it. Yeah, it's all up to you, Luxray. Investigate the reference room and meeting room without being spotted. I'm in. Mm -hmm. Huh. Looks like it's a photo from when the Slowpoke statue is damaged. That's clearly you in it. Except it isn't me. So what's going on with this photo? I'm gonna hold on to this. I want to look into it with Tim. Mm -hmm. 
I think this is a manual for those cube-shaped devices they stuck on us. What devices? Haven't you seen them stuck to everyone's necks or backs? There's one on you too, Luxray. Let's see. The manual explains how to attach one to a Pokemon. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Doesn't explain what these things actually are. Well, they've got tons of manuals here. I don't think anyone will notice if I take just one. Okay, I think that's all we need to see in this room. Then let's move on to another one. Okay, not this way. Here you go, walking. <laughs> Dang it! Huh. We've been spotted. I swear, we'll get out of here. <laughs> Wait, they just don't even put his bag in the cell? Okay. <laughs> so silly. And I'm in. Here's a list of all the incidents that were supposedly caused by the Pokemon being detained here. Stuff like stealing people's food, destroying a flower display at the floors. And my name's on here too. Property damage at Fountain Plaza. This whole list is nothing but a load of malarkey. I know I didn't do this, and the others all said they didn't do these things either. Oh, here's your name, Luxray. It says you and Mariana were running amok just off a of second app. What really went down that day? I don't think this is the place for a long conversation. Do you? Now's not the time, huh? Guess I'll ask again later. Wait, what the? There's a ditto on this list. Dude, why did I think about a ditto? That makes so much sense now. Okay. <laughs> That's like the obvious thing to do, though. That's probably how they got all the pictures, too. Dude, I'm such a bad detective. Wait. There's a ditto on this list. I didn't see any ditto in the detainment rooms, did you? No, I've never seen one here. Hmm. Guess it was brought here before us. Maybe it already got released? Mm -hmm. It's a list of Pokemon that are wanted by the PPB. But look at how many of them there are. Do they really intend to detain all these Pokemon? Would this many even fit in the station? Is Mightyena's name on this list? Yeah, it says Mightyena right here. I see. How do you and Mightyena know each other anyway? That would take too long to explain. Really. Then we can circle back to that later. What the heck is this? A poster celebrating Butler's promotion to chief? So it's been a year since Butler got put in charge. Can't say he's got much taste patting himself on the back with stuff like this. Okay. okay. I think that's all we need to see in this room. Well, we did a lot of investigating, but we still haven't found anything to prove my innocence. And we learned a little more, but not enough to help me out of this place. I'd really like to keep exploring other areas too, but... If we go somewhere with too many humans, we'll get spotted. Yeah, I know that, but I'm really curious about Butler. Somehow I need to get a good look around this chief's office above us. Then let's go. Where is this room you're after? According to the floor pan, it's on the second floor, but let's go. But be careful. We're gonna expose him for his corrupt nature. Drink! Hey. Swamp! The chief's office is on this floor, just past the turn down this hallway. Understood. Wait. We can't go past here. There's a human standing guard. What? But the chief's office is right in front of us. I really want to investigate that room, but I guess that's not going to be easy. 
Should we turn back? Hmm. I know. Can you see through ceilings and stuff too? Of course, but what of it? You can see the rooms below you from the roof, right? Ah, I see what you're getting at. Quite the underhanded scheme there. Call it a clever scheme at least. Anyway, now that we've got a plan, let's head up to the roof. Why isn't it locked? Yeah. Okay. We made it to the roof and lucky for us, there's no one else here. I can't see all the way from here. I need to get a little closer to the room. Okay, let's stand directly above it. I think it was near the center of the building. Hey. You should be able to see through it to the chief's office from here, right? Yes, I'll take a look. Scope it out, Luxray. I'm on it. Butler's just sitting in his chair, looking all self important. Doing his work, huh? Do you see anything suspicious? There's a duct outlet on the wall. Ah, that means I can sneak in through there. And I see a bowl on the floor, too. For a Pokemon, maybe? Uh, except, I've never seen Butler with a Pokemon. There's also a sturdy metal box with something inside of it. Huh, could be a safe. Yeah. The safe in particular seems very suspicious. There's got to be something in there. Even my eyes can't see inside that box very clearly. I guess I gotta go see it for myself then. But there's a human in front of the room. Yeah, he looks like he's standing guard. I don't think we can, I don't think we can wait till he just leaves. There's only one option. I've got to go through that duct. Like you did in the detainment rooms? Yeah, I doubt that office duct is connected to the basement duct system, but I should be able to reach from the ducts on the first floor. I can't fit in those ducts. Are you sure you're ready to go on your own? What? You think I'm gonna slip up? Remember, I'm the great Detective Pikachu. Indeed. Either way, I can't go now because Butler's in there. Let's head back to the detainment rooms for now. Yes, that sounds wise. Yeah. Phew. At least we made it back safely. Yeah, how'd it go? Can we get out of here soon? No. This will still take some time. Isn't that right, Pikachu? Yeah, but we'll get you out of here, trust me. Just hang in there a little longer. We still need proof that we're innocent, but I think we need to leave that to Tim. Who is Tim? A human? Yeah, he's my partner. And detective too, well, a rookie detective. He's a detective? Yeah, and you might not believe this, but he and I can actually talk to and understand each other. Uh, stop lying, there's no way that's true. Pikachu, can you get in touch with this human? Well, he visited me yesterday, and I'm sure he'll be back again today. Then I have a favor to ask. Will you ask him to check up on the Mariana in the city and report on how he's doing? Sure, I can do that, but... Why are you interested in some Mariana? Luxury had a fight with Mariana right before he was thrown in here. During their squabble, Mariana was injured, and Luxury has been worried about him. Wow. I didn't realize you cared so much about your friends. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Easy, easy. I'll be sure to pass your message on to Tim during our next visit. Thanks. Thanks from me as well, Pikachu. Mariana should be near a second half. Got it. I'll pass that on to Tim too. I wonder what Tim's up to now. Hard cut to Tim. Detainment Day 2. Tim. Morning. There might be another Pikachu somewhere in Rhyme City. And if that's true, 
It must be the one that damaged the Slowpoke statue. I need to hurry and find it so I can uncover the truth. Tim! Rachel, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Is it true that Pikachu got arrested? Oh. Were you worried about us, Rachel? Of course I was! And how's Pikachu? The PPB is detaining him. They said he's the lead suspect in a property damage incident. You're kidding, right? They must be mistaken! Only about the perpetrator. The PPB claimed to have photographic evidence of the crime. But I know it wasn't my partner Pikachu, so I thought maybe there's another Pikachu in the city. And that's the one th and that's the one they should be after. That makes sense. I can't imagine your Pikachu doing anything bad like that. And on that note, what where should we investigate first? Huh? You're coming with me? I mean I'd appreciate the help, but Oh, don't be so shy. If a friend's in trouble, I want to do whatever I can to help. And since you and Pikachu are my friends, hard emphasis on friends, it's only natural that I help, yeah? Thanks, Rachel. It really makes me feel better to hear that. Um, well, let's start at the Fountain Plaza, where the incident took place. Oh, how could this happen? Excuse me. Are you okay? Oh, sorry. I'm just so stressed out that I started muttering to myself. Well, we're actually investigating the recent Pokemon incidents. Is there- if there's anything we can do to help, we'd love to try. Oh, that's too kind, thank you. So, what exactly happened? When I got to my shop this morning, I saw that someone had messed up my flowers. So the Pokemon Protection Bureau came and investigated? But how could they accuse my Inteleon? Wait, why did they take your Inteleon away? Yes, but there's no way he'd ever do such a thing. Excuse me? Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged. I'm sorry, I don't really remember. Okay. Oops. Excuse me? Misclick. Could you tell us a bit more about your Inteleon? Inteleon is my partner. He's been with me forever since we were both small. He loves flowers and he always waters them so gently for me. I can't even imagine such a sweet Pokemon doing anything bad. But, but, <laughs> but for some reason the PPB is convinced that Inteleon ruined my flowers. Wow, that's awful. Did anyone actually see Inteleon messing with the flowers? No, not a single eyewitness. But the PPB claims to have proof from some surveillance camera footage. Do you mind if we investigate the scene? We might learn something. Of course, I don't mind. It happened right in my shop flowers display. Hey, Let's have a look at the shop flower display, Tim. This must be the flower display the police claim until I am ruined. Right. Okay, let's see what we can see. Hmm. Nothing about the flower shop sign seems out of the ordinary here. Oh! Just looking at these potted flowers near the shop is helping me feel more relaxed. Okay. This pot doesn't have many flowers in it. Some of the flowers have spilled out. I wonder if Inteleon could have done this. Oh, Here are some potted flowers. They smell really nice. There's a cut in the wall. Looks like it was done by a sharp blade. A blade, huh? 
You know, Inteleon's tail is kind of knife-like. But my Inteleon has never once used this tail like that. All right. I am pretty sure we checked out everything here. I hope you'll come see us sing the next time we're in the city. Yeah, for sure. Oh wait, this guy's Pokemon is gone. Ah, oh, I can't believe this is happening. Excuse me. Is something wrong? Have Have you ever had your dearest friend taken away from you? That sounds heartbreaking. I know, right? And that's exactly what happened to me today. That's terrible. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, thanks. I think talking through it might help me feel a bit better. So, tell me. What happened? Some people from the PPB just suddenly showed up today. They rattled off a whole lot of accusations and then told me they were taking away my Morpeko. I tried to stop them, but they said they had proof and the law is the law. Morpeko looked so sad and defeated as the police took him away. How awful! Yeah, it really was. Excuse me? Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Phantom Plaza was damaged? No, I didn't. I was at home that night. I see. Could you tell us a bit more about your Morpeko? Morpeko's my partner. He's just a cheerful little guy with a big appetite. I assume that's why the PPB suspected him. What do you mean? Apparently a Pokemon was causing trouble last night. They said a Pokemon stole someone's food right in front of this very cafe. Morpeko had nothing to do with it, but the PPB wouldn't listen. So that's what happened. When Morpeko's hungry, he does get cranky and his fur even changes color. But he's never stolen food before, not even once. I can't even imagine that little guy causing trouble for anyone. You don't say. I'll try looking around the scene here. Hey. So, Morpeko supposedly caused some trouble in front of the Hi Hat Cafe, right? Yeah. Let's see if there's any evidence. Morpeko's been accused of stealing some food. We'd better investigate carefully. All right. Okay. Let's see what we can see. They got burned. Oh! Just a cup of coffee. Nothing strange about that. Oh! It's the Hi Hat Cafe's menu. The sandwiches in here look delicious. Okay, cool. Hmm? The ground and wall look scorched. According to the PPB, Morpeko was bent, went berserk and used this aura wheel. Aura wheel changes type based on how Morpeko is feeling, right? Yep. When Morpeko's in hangry mode, it's a dark type move. And when Morpeko's in full belly mode, it's an electric type move. If Morpeko's aura wheel were electric type, that wouldn't have caused these scorch marks. But that would mean Morpeko stole someone's food even though it had a full belly. Yeah, you're right. What's going on here? All right. Looks like you checked everything off. Note here. It's the scientist! Wait. Isn't that the guy who... Tim, why imagine us running into each other again, here of all places? You're that guy who suddenly plucked some of Pikachu's fur. Yes, I'm Charles Murlock, scientist and policy mastermind of Rhyme City. Where's your partner, Pikachu? Don't tell me you two had a falling out. No, nothing like that. I know you. You're the one who keeps meeting with my dad. <laughs> well, well, the mayor's daughter. <laughs> You know, um. Lime City has become rather dangerous lately. I know how much Howard worries about you. I suggest you head home soon. 
And I suggest you mind your business. Uh -huh. You've got a lot of explaining to do. What sort of ideas are you putting into Papa's head? And all these Pokemon management measures? Are they you're doing as well? Oh my, oh dear. It seems I've caught you in a bad mood. Perhaps we should speak some other time. If you'll excuse me, until next time. Uh -huh. Ah, he left without answering a single question. You may have started off a bit too strong. I was gonna see that too. Not just me. Mm -hmm. Huh? There's Brad again. Is he a detective? He's checking out the cart. I wonder if he found something. He's planting evidence again. Mm. Brad was looking around in Fountain Plaza yesterday, too. What in the world is he up to? He might be looking for more evidence of that case Pikachu's mixed up in. Yeah, maybe there's still something here. Let's go see for ourselves. Alright, All right. time to examine this area. We're looking for evidence left by the culprit, which is another Pikachu, right? But how could... But how would it be any different from evidence that your Pikachu could have left? I'm not sure. But we won't figure out anything if we don't look. Good point. We can't afford to overlook anything. Let's check for any clues that could lead us to the Pikachu that caused this mess. Oh! Look at these Pokemon tracks. They're pretty big. These definitely weren't made by Pikachu Paws. Anything else you can tell from them, Tim? It looks like this Pokemon was headed toward the main street. It's a bus ticket. I highly doubt a Pokemon rode the bus by itself. It would be fun if one did, though. I bet that'd be a wild ride. I want my old oh. partner back. She's not as funny. There's some paper on the ground. It's just a crumpled up piece of paper. I doubt it's got anything to do with the case. Oh, There's some food on the ground. Maybe it's some of the food sold at the stall. Ooh, teeny tiny footprints! <laughs> oh! Here are some Pokemon tracks. I can't say for sure if they were made by a Pikachu, but the size looks about right. The trail head towards the back of the plaza, but ends abruptly before it gets to second half. I wonder why. All right. Nothing more to see here. That's the thing. Time to get deducing. And you know what else I can deduce? That some of you guys who are watching aren't follow following, because guys... We are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Also, a gentle reminder, I will be doing a stream tonight on Emmy Beef's channel. So twitch.tv slash Emmy Beef is in the pinned chat. Click the link, make sure you're following her channel as well. Because we're going to do Mario Kart. I always forget how much talking are in story games. <clears throat> I'm gonna see what else is here. Huh. Is something there? Burmy. Ego fashion enthusiast. Burb. Oh. Whoa. A Burmy, that really startled me. Burmy? I swear, 
You can find Burmy in the trees of just about any park in the city. Hello, sir. Who are you? Young man. Oh no. What do I do? This could be the end of us. Excuse me. What's wrong? It looks like something pretty serious. Please, you gotta help me. J just calm down. What exactly happened? Well, you see, I accidentally dropped my wedding ring. Oh no! That's really serious! I think it rolled into the gap between these buildings, but it's so narrow I can't reach down there. I can't show my face at home if I don't get it back. We can't fit in a gap that narrow either. But maybe a small Pokemon could. Good thinking. A long, slender Pokemon may be just what we need. Look around and see if we can find one that's willing to help. Please do. I'm done for if I can't find that ring. Maybe the Burmy? Oh, right. Burmy. Okay, not the Burmy. I probably gotta come back with Pikachu. A palm. A palm. Masterful tail dexterity. Apom? Hey. Hey there, Apom. You better not be planning any pranks to play in the city, okay? Okay, not that one either. Hmm. It's probably a mission I do after. Oh, Maricatus! Just do what you always do. And Snubble, you watch Maricatus's moves and see if you can copy them. Actus? Snub. Okay, I'll start deducing. I'll stop stalling. Begin deducing. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out where the other Pikachu went. Second ad. Okay. These little footprints are about the right size. They could belong to another Pikachu. Yes, they must. And if you follow the direction they're facing, it looks like they lead into that alley that goes to 2nd Ave. Maybe someone on 2nd Ave saw the other Pikachu. Let's go check it out. Easy. There might be someone on 2nd Ave who saw the other Pikachu. Let's go there, then. This is the way to 2nd Ave. Yeah, I hope we find someone who saw the Pikachu. New area unlocked. Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are, Second Ave. The police is just to the left of the parking lot full of police cars. And if we head toward the police station from here, that takes us back to the street the Hi Hat Cafe is on. I don't see any more footprints from that Pokemon. It's like it just disappeared. We'll need to question people for more information from here on out. Let's try to find someone who's seen the Pikachu. Hey! Let's ask that person if she's seen a Pikachu. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to talk? What about? Excuse Did me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged. No, I didn't. I assumed it was detained by the PPB. The police detained the Pikachu, yes, but we're looking for a different one. Oh, really? Sorry, I didn't see any Pikachu. Thanks. That's important information. Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? No, I haven't seen them myself. But it does seem as if more and more Pokemon are being detained lately. Yeah, it feels like there aren't nearly as many Pokemon out and around in the city. That may, be re that may be related to this incident with Pikachu. Hmm. 
It sounds like an awful lot of Pokemon here in Rhyme City are being detained, doesn't it? Yeah. Even if something's going on with the detained Pokemon, this all seems way too sudden. This may have something to do with the other Pikachu, so we ought to look into it. Sure, but how should we do that? The partners of the Dane Pokemon might know something. Good point. Alright, let's go look for their partners. Okay, so we found two already. Very nice. I'm speedrunning. Young man. This place has the best burgers. I could eat here five times a day and never get sick of them. Five times a day? That might be going a bit overboard. Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged. Nope, sure didn't. I was here that night, though. But judging from the tracks, the Pikachu we're looking for must have walked down this road. So where could it have gone? Have you witnessed any of their other recent Pokemon detainments? I haven't actually seen any, but I've certainly heard rumors. People saying the police were by and stuff. I sure don't like all this trouble in the city. Makes it so hard to just relax and eat. Dude, just a normal civilian. Impidimp's partner. Ugh, I just can't believe it. Impidimp. Excuse me. What's wrong? Apparently my partner Impidimp got himself in a whole heap of trouble. Impidimp are known for pulling pranks, aren't they? Can't argue with that. Maybe this was a prank gone too far. Do you mind sharing some of the details with us? So what happened exactly? The Pokemon Protection Bureau took my partner Impidimp away. It happened so suddenly. I was completely blindsided and practically still in shock. Did one of Impidimp's pranks cause too much trouble for someone? Good guess, that's what the PPB said. But somehow I just can't believe it. Excuse me? Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged. No, I'm afraid not. We we're trying to track down we we're trying to track down whoever broke that Slowpoke statue. Oh, you're a detective. I hope you find the culprit. What kind of trouble did Impidimp supposedly cause? They say my silly little Impidimp stole someone's valuables. And then it happened right here, in front of this burger joint. Supposedly a security camera recorded the whole thing, and they got a clear image of Impidimp. But I just can't believe it. Despite all appearances, Impidimp's really a good little fella. He likes shiny things, so yeah, sometimes he'll bring me stuff he finds on the ground. But only things that are just lying there. He doesn't steal from people. Hmm. I'd really like to believe you. I don't like my partner. She's the worst. I guess I can see why you doubt me. Poor Impidimp. I wonder if Impidimp really is guilty, though. I'd like to examine the scene for a moment. Mm -hmm. The incident that Impidimp is accused of happening... The incident that Impidimp is accused of happened... Oh, I'm pacing it wrong. The incident that Impidimp is accused of happened right in front of the burger shop. Let's look for some evidence. This is where Impidimp reportedly stole someone's valuables. There might still be some clues around. All right. Okay, let's see what we can see. Oh! A poster for the burger joint. Looks like they're running a special deal right now. Ooh, a coin! Mm -hmm. There's a really shiny coin on the ground. Did this get dropped here during the incident with the Impidim? If so, that'd be a little strange. Yeah, we did hear that Impidim loves shiny things. Exactly. Impidim would have picked up this coin. Dude, it's been, like, a two day- more than two days. <laughs> so silly. So then, why is the coin here? All right. Looks like we checked everything of note here. Oh! The Licky Licky is the burger joint's mascot. 
Whoever they got to make the statue did a good job. Let's think. I'm gonna look around a bit more, then I'll start deducing. No, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, they're so cute. Two kittens sleeping. Young woman. I love slow, lazy days when the weather's nice like this. <laughs> Me too. But we haven't been able to take things very slowly lately. Oh, what's the rush? Is something wrong? Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged. I saw more Peko and Detonate, but no Pikachu. Hey Tim, do you think it's possible that the culprit was actually more Peko or Detonate? No, I unfortunately don't think so. Chief Butler said he had proof that Pikachu did it. But I believe it must have been a different Pikachu. Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? No, I've only heard rumors. A Pokemon apparently stole someone's valuables, for example. Sounds like we all need to be careful. I'd better keep a firm grip on my belongings. But you were literally no help. Excuse me. Hi there, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Ooh, what do you need? Excuse me. Did you happen to see a Pikachu two nights ago? The evening the Slowpoke statue in Fountain Plaza was damaged. Oh right, there was a commotion at Fountain Plaza, wasn't there? I was here that whole evening, but I didn't see any Pikachu. So, the culprit didn't come through this square, either. Um... Have you witnessed any of the recent Pikachu de- er. <laughs> Have you witnessed any of the recent Pokemon detainments? Well, I heard that a Pokemon caused some trouble in front of the Hi-Hat Cafe. But I didn't see it for myself, so I don't know anything else about it. Let's talk to the quiz lady. Hello, detective! Gano. Um, I think I met you before somewhere, right? Come on, of course you have! It's me, the quiz professor, remember? Oh, but where's your Pikachu? Isn't he usually with you? Gano. Pikachu's got something else going on today, so... Am I getting quizzed again? Why not? It'll be good to change the pace, and I'll help too. Oh my, is this your girlfriend? Then please, by all means, you two can work together on this quiz. And now for Pokemon quiz, question number one. What aromatic Pokemon has a beautiful flower blooming on its head? A flower on its head? I feel like I've seen that before. Yeah, do you think it'd be somewhere with lots of flowers? Let me know when you found it. By the flower shop. Oh, I have to go all the way around? Bruh. Oh, it's those guys. They're still here. Is it you? Lily? Lily? Oh, it's Lilligant. It's got a beautiful flower and a really nice aroma. Tim, let's report to the quiz professor. The answer has got to be Lilligant. Oh, right. Sure. Let's go. Dude, it's so silly. I've already talked to these Pokemon. I know what the answer is. Think you've got the answer, detective? Right. Yeah. This was an easy one. The answer is Lilligant. Bingo! 
that didn't seem like a challenge for you at all. You know? As you can see, Lilligant can make a beautiful flower bloom on its head. But it requires constant attention. If you don't take proper care of the ga garland, it'll wither away. And also, essential oils made from Lilligant's flowers sell for unbelievable prices. Well, I've already seen a Lilligant before, so the answer just kind of sprung to mind. Well, sounds like this was smooth sailing for you then. Now on to question number two. Cano. What Pokemon has fluffy fur around its neck, loves to stay clean, and lives as it pleases? Huh? I'm imagining a luxurious pampered Pokemon, but what kind? We got a hint about fluff around its neck, but nothing on where to find it. Go on, then. Get searching and let me know when you found it. It was by the flower shop. It's the purple cat. Be right here. Yeah. Yeah. Delicity. Carefree City Kitty. Hmm, Del Del. This sure is a cute Pokemon. Oh, that's Del Kitty. It really is cute. Do you suppose it's going for a walk? Del. It seems pretty used to humans. Do you think this one is someone's partner? This fur around its neck is like a fluffy scarf. Charming, isn't it? I could keep petting it all day. Oh, wait. Doesn't that fit the characteristics the quiz professor described? Oh, you may be right. Let's go give her our answer. Hey, time to go back. Thank you for the lurk, wolves. Thank you. Skipping, cutting my corners. So, detective, have you figured out the answer? All right. Yes, I have. It's Del Kitty, isn't it? Oh, correct. Was this one a little difficult? Yeah, no. Del Kitty eats, sleeps, and lives as it pleases at its own pace. It's very proud of its fur and prefers to keep it clean, so it hates dirty places. If Pikachu was here, he probably would have gotten into an argument about whose fur is glossier. Aren't they usually nocturnal, too? It seems rare to find one during the day. Oh, I see you know a thing or two about Pokemon. How splendid. And now, without further ado, on to the third and final question. What Pokemon can sense emotions via the protrusion on its head and prefer secluded places? I know. Those are the hints you'll get. The protrusion on its head. What could that be? I guess we just have to check some areas where there aren't a lot of people around. Alright, detective. Use those legs over yours and find the answer. It might be the cat back here. No. I have no clue what the Pokemon can be. Protrusion on its head. Secluded. Hmm. Not for it. Protrusion on its head. There's also a side alley we saw here to the right. Okay, can't go there. Not Burmy. This one has a horn. Okay. 
Okay, it's not them. There's like no Pokemon out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start deducing. Let's use the information we've gathered to figure out what's going on with these Pokemon. Do the Pokemon actually want to steal? Do they want food? Are innocent Pokemon being be detained? Or are the Pokemon upset? They're obviously innocent. A cab. Okay. None of the evidence left at the crime scene seem like things these Pokemon would likely leave behind. That's true. And their partners were in shock because the Pokemon were accused of doing something completely out of character. Just like when Pikachu was arrested, the same thing keeps happening. There's photographic evidence for every crime, though. As strange as this all seems, it'd be difficult to convince the PPB that something's off. Every crime has photo evidence, and the Pokemon are behaving out of character. What if... Those Pokemon are being framed? What? Well, what makes you say that? I... oh, sorry. I guess that's a pretty big claim. I can't say for sure. Still, a lot of things at the crime scenes just don't add up. I don't think we can rule it out just yet. If that is what's happening, I sure hope we can do something to help those Pokémon. Let's say for a moment that the PPB and the police are framing innocent Pokemon. If that's the case, what are they trying to accomplish? Huh. Are they detaining Pokemon without doing thorough with Huh. Are they detaining Pokemon without doing thorough investigations? Or is there more to it than that? I couldn't say why. But maybe detaining Pokemon isn't a means to an end. Maybe it's their actual goal. You mean the PPB and the police are just out there trying to pump up their numbers? Do they really have that little respect for Pokemon? This sounds too real. Whoa, Rachel, wait a sec. We need to investigate a bit more before we draw any conclusions. Things aren't quite adding up just yet. Yeah, right, sorry. I got a little heated right now. It's okay. Let's start asking people in the city about their recent detainments. Sounds good. The people who should know the most about the Pokemon detainments are the Pokemon Protection Bureau and the police. But Inspector Holiday didn't know much of anything. Maybe we should ask some other police officers. Good idea. Let's do that. Okay, realistically, why did the police snitch? They want to snitch. Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Did you beat the game? I'm finally beating it. <laughs> yeah, this is a baby game. But I love detective stuff. Like, it's twist after twist. Okay, A cab. Let's talk to the A cab. We've had so many Pokemon detainment assignments lately, it's pretty shocking how much they've spiked. Excuse me? Actually, that's what I'd like to ask you about. Huh, fancy that. <sighs> is Pokemon detainment one of your assigned duties? Yes, it is. Recently, it feels like detaining Pokemon is all I do. Frankly, that's supposed to be the PPB's responsibility. But there's such a new organization. They don't have... They don't have enough personnel, even police officers like me, to pick up the slack. Wait, what if they are potentially frauding Pokemon? That way, the actual, like, bad people can do more crimes because the police are busy. That sounds really tough. I'm sure your department already has enough on their plate. Well, I wouldn't say that. The official story is that the PPB was formed to assist the police, keep us from spreading ourselves too thin, that sort of thing. But between you and me, Rhyme City's never given us more police work than we can handle. There's just not enough crime! Hmm. 
they are false they are falsely inflating the numbers so they can get more police budgets because everybody is saying defund the police a cap which is true both defunding the police should be done it's the liberals i think the ppb was established as part of the mayor's vision for the city but and this goes without saying working with people in pokemon are two different ball games yeah People have their individual quirks, but at least we're all one species. Pokemon, on the other hand... Exactly. There's an infinite number of variables we need to be able to respond to in any given situation. Sometimes it feels way above my pay grade, but with the direction the mayor and the PPB are taking things, there's not much I can do. Guys, you have such a good union. You get paid too much! Police officer. If danger rears its head, you can trust the Rhyme City Police to protect and serve. Excuse me. Sorry, I'd just like to ask a few questions if that's okay. How is that not a block term? I made that a block term. We are not doing the PP meta. Oh, wait, I didn't make it a block term. Now it is. <laughs> wait, no, that was on the art channel, wasn't it? The PP meta? <laughs> I have flashbacks of that day, constantly. Wait, you know who else is gonna get flashbacks? The non-subs, cause guys, we are another hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing on the thunk. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Dad, we're gonna keep on playing. So get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> Sorry. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. Questions for me? I'm happy to answer anything I can. Okay, why are the police, like, leaking so much, like, inside drama? Dude, the detective. Why are they doing it? <laughs> They're just kicking themselves in the foot. Um... Is Pokemon Detainment in one of your assignments? Yes, it sure is. And we've been extra vigilant for the remainder of the Pokemon Friendship Week. Oh yeah, it is Pokemon Friendship Week. <laughs> Dude. This is <laughs> just so bad. Mayor Myers has been promoting it a lot lately. Yes, he has. Pokemon Friendship Week was created in response to the R incident two years ago. It represents our ideals of peaceful coexistence with Pokemon. As officers of the, of the law, we work hard to protect that peace. Dude, what is this propaganda? <laughs> oh, I see. The police are lucky to have an officer like you. If anything happens, we'll be there in no time, so you can put your mind at ease. Thanks to the state of art surveillance cameras we've been using, not a single incident slips by unrecorded. Surveillance state? Are the cameras really all that special? They are. Our cameras have captured the incriminating moment in every recent incident. We should destroy the cameras. Really? Every last one? Are you sure that isn't just a coincidence? I'm sure those cameras are amazing, but that sounds too good to be true. We don't have a lot of surveillance cameras at our disposal, but the few we use are extremely effective. Let's think. Hmm. I wonder. I Mario wonder. <laughs> Oops. Let's begin deducing. Mm -hmm. Let's think about whether there's anything strange about the PPB's activity. Wait, if there's more Pokemon incidents, then they can get more funding. Okay, the... 
PPP is overzealously detaining Pokemon to prevent future incidents. The PPB is too busy in rushing their investigation or they're staging incidents. <gasps> okay. What else could it be? More Peko, Impidimp, Inteleon, and Pikachu. A lot of Pokemon have been detained in different places. Yet somehow, the few surveillance cameras in the city managed to film each one of them. Seems too good to be true. Not to mention the surveillance cameras caught the exact moment each crime was committed. Right? Seems a bit too convenient. Maybe the PPB staged the crimes and filmed them. That's definitely a possibility. All this time, I just assumed it was another Pikachu. But now I'm having second thoughts. What do you mean? So many Pokemon have caused incidents and have been detained in such a short time. And it seems like the incriminating detail for every one of these incidents have been captured on camera. Rather than finding a double for each and every one of these Pokemon, it would be easier for them to just use one Pokemon capable of passing as any one of the others. If they had a Pokemon that could do that. Yeah. If they had a Pokemon that could do that, it could explain how so many of these incidents occurred in such a short time. So what we should be looking for is... A Pokemon that can look like other Pokemon! Right, let's ask around more. Oh. Let me go back to Pikachu! I hate the Tim missions. Even if the Pokemon Protection Bureau staged the incidents, the actual crimes had to have been committed by a Pokemon. All the partners of the detained Pokemon said the same thing. They convinced that their Pokemon would never commit the crimes they've been accused of. I can really only think of one possible explanation. A different Pokemon than the ones that were detained committed all the crimes. We've gotta find a Pokemon that can make itself look like other Pokemon. Yeah, let's go ask some folks in the city. Hmm, I wonder which Pokemon it is. Okay, I gotta talk to everybody again. Uh, what have you gotten yourself into, Impidimp? Excuse me? Can you think of any Pokemon able to make itself look like a different one? Yeah, I once met an old lady who had a ditto for her partner. I'm pretty sure she even lived here on 2nd Ave, if memory serves. Really? Thanks very much. Well, let's keep asking around. Okay, they stole someone's ditto. Oh, ditto dear! Huh? Did you hear someone calling for something? Ditto! Oh, where can it be? Oh, I bet that's Ditto's partner. I think the voice is coming from back here. Let's go check. Okay, this lady does not look Excuse that me. old. <laughs> that was so mean to call her old. Hello there. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, go right ahead. I've been so lonely. It's nice to have a distraction. What's wrong? Well, you see, my ditto went missing a while ago. So, that was your voice we heard just now. Yes. I've been looking for it everywhere, but I just can't find it. I am worried sick. I hope it shows up again soon. Thanks for trying to cheer me up. I really do miss my ditto. Ditto loves to play by using Transform. It turns into all sorts of things. But my little one isn't actually very good at using Transform. It can only imitate what it sees with its own eyes. Sometimes it gets the shape a bit wrong, but that just makes it even cuter. Poor 
woman. She said Ditto's been missing for a little while now, right? I know it fits the profile of what we've been searching for, but could it really have gotten tangled up in all those incidents? It's possible, yeah. Is there any way to be sure? Yes, I can ask Pikachu. Ask Pikachu? Oh, uh, um, yeah. It's about time for my visit with him. So I'll discuss, I mean, uh, a, a talk with, you know, l let's just see how he's doing. Are you sure I can join in on this visit, even though I'm not his partner? Yeah, it should be fine. Come on, let's go. Let's Pokemon go to the bulls. Spirit, squirming through for a visit. Spirit. Oh, look, a ferret. Do you think this Pokemon would fit inside that gap? Oh, to get that guy's wedding ring? Yeah, a ferret would be perfect for the job. It's literally so big. Clippers don't. Don't. Let's ask it. Hey, ferret, someone lost something important to him. We could really use your help for getting him out of this pinch. Ferret? Huh. I don't think it understands. Please! He's in a lot of trouble. We seriously need your help. Ferret? Did it understand? Even if it didn't understand your words, your feelings came out loud and clear. I hope so. The person who needs help is over in Fountain Plaza. Can you go help him, Ferret? Perfect! Okay. I think it really did go off to help him. That'd be such a relief. Come on, let's go see. Okay, ain't no shot for it is fitting in that wall. No way. Hi there. This fur just showed up out of nowhere and heroically retrieved my ring for me. You called it for me, right? Thank you so much. It really saved my neck. Mm -hmm. No, don't thank us. Thank for it. Well done, for it, really. Thank you from me and Tim as well. Bert? Please be careful not to drop anything that important from now on, okay? Haha, <laughs> I'll do what I can. I can't help but just staring at my ring. It reminds me of how happy my marriage is. You sound like a really lovely couple. I have to say though, I'm pretty surprised that Ferd was able to tell what we wanted. I experienced that a lot when I was a kid, actually. <laughs> Maybe it's a treat to pass down from Mama. Even when we can't communicate with words, we can still each other... Even when we can't communicate with words, we can still understand each other's feelings. I still don't see a Pokemon with something on its head. Hmm. Maybe this one? Gossie Fleur. It sounds a little sad. Maybe it's gonna miss this city. No, it's not them. I'm clueless. Oh, who are you? Pig Knight. Fueled by delicious berries. Pig, pig. Oh dear, just give it a try, Pig Knight, please. Excuse me. Is there something I can help you with? Actually, there is. We were about to go camping. Pig Knight here is supposed to help light our campfire. But Pig Knight's already so hungry, he won't even budge. Aw, poor thing. I mean, I meant to bring along some of his favorite berries, but I guess I totally spaced out and forgot. And I can't just leave Pig Knight here while I run home to get some. Hey, Tim. Can we go bather up some berries for these two? I'd like to, but do you think we can even find berries in the city that Pig Knight likes? 
This city is full of Pokemon. And where there are Pokemon, there are bound to be berries. But the berries in the most obvious places have probably already been eaten. Then I guess we'll just have to check each tree one by one. Okay. If we find any berries, we'll bring them back here. That'd be a huge help. Thank you so much. Okay, we need we need berries apparently. Such an odd request. This is a tree? I can't click on the trees. Oh, only this tree. Wow. <laughs> oh, this tree's got berries in it. Pignite would probably like these ones. Then let's hurry and get these to Pignite's partner. Oh, detective, did you find some berries? Mm -hmm. Yes, these were growing on a tree in Fountain Plaza. Oh, yes, those look perfect for Pig Knight. Mm, night, Pig Knight. You're right, it looks really happy. Now you can go camping, right? Yes, thank you both so much. Big Pig Knight. I'm gonna do one more loop around to find the Pokemon with something on its head. Because I think I've talked to every Pokemon. can't be Firo. Or Spiro. Yeah, there's no other Pokemon. It has to show up later then. Yeah, I haven't talked to it yet. Hmm. Oh, this guy! No, it's not him. <laughs> Dude, I got so excited. Let's go talk to Pikachu. Let me explain our Pokemon partner visitation rules. Visitors allowed in, in the afternoons. You visit your partner a maximum of twice per day, but they cannot be consecutive visits. Are you ready to visit your partner? Yes, sir. Then follow me. Yes. <laughs> so, this is the visitation room. I feel a little nervous in here. Oh yeah, it's your first time here. Oh, uh, wait. What is it, Tim? Oh, uh, nothing. Could you actually wait a second for me, Rachel? 
Thanks. What do I do? I've been keeping the fact that Pikachu and I can speak to each other a secret. What's Rachel gonna think when she sees me talking to him? If we're gonna keep investigating together, I should just tell her the truth. Are you okay, Tim? You look like you're thinking actually... <laughs> Are you okay, Tim? You look like you're thinking awfully hard. Rachel. I have, I have a secret. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? It sounds pretty serious. I don't expect you to believe me, but the truth is... I can understand everything Pikachu says. Ain't no way. I know it must be shocking to hear someone say a thing like that. If you don't believe me, I understand. Amazing! Huh? That's incredible, Tim! I am so jealous that you can communicate with Pokémon! So when you say you've been solving cases with Pikachu, you really meant it literally. How were you able to talk with him? Do you know how it happened? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. He's the only Pokémon I can understand, too. Pikachu interprets for me when I'm speaking to other Pokemon. Wow. Pikachu's pretty clever. It must be your strong bond of trust with Pikachu that lets you understand him. Um, but we were able to talk as soon as we met. Then maybe you just instinctually understood each other's feelings from the start. Yeah, maybe. But hey, you're pretty amazing yourself, you know. You've studied so much about Pokemon. You've studied so much about Pokemon, and it's clear how much you care about them. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate you saying that. I've always, always felt this way. That I want to understand Pokemon better, and have them understand me as well. Always, huh? Yeah. A Pokemon rescued me when I was just a little kid, you know? Once, when I got lost in the forest in Bamboo Burrow, an Ursa Ring helped me out. An Ursa Ring? I knew her red That's hair right. wasn't natural. I was cold, lonely, and crying. But it stayed by my side and kept me safe. I know that Ursa Ring helped me because it could understand what I was feeling. And that's why I wholeheartedly believe that Pokemon and humans can understand each other's feelings. My mother. I learned that from her. Understanding each other's feelings? That's really nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember that day so clearly. That Ursa Ring and I really connected back then, heart to heart. And when I told Mama and Papa about it, they said that humans and Pokemon were always meant to be that close. But Papa's changed. All this Pokemon management stuff is so unlike him. And what they've done, and when they've done nothing wrong. I understand how you feel, Rachel. Thanks, Tim. Wait, I want to talk to Pikachu. Oopsie. Do you think Pikachu will get here soon? I may not understand him, but it'll be a relief just to see him safe and sound. Yeah, that's how I felt when I visited him yesterday. Here's Pikachu. Hey. I wonder if Tim's made any progress in, in his investigation. Hey Tim, thanks for coming to see me. I'm glad to see you're okay, Pikachu. Oh, and Rachel's here too. Hey Tim, are you sure this is okay, letting her see us talk like this? Well, about that, I actually just told Rachel our secret a minute ago. She knows that you and I could talk to each other. Well, that was pretty bold of you. Did she even believe you? Yeah, she even said she was jealous. Haha. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Bridge is a bit of an odd one, isn't she? Either way, there's still an officer in the room, so we should keep it down. Yeah, I know. So anyway, let's get straight to the point. I've got something to report to you, Tim. I managed to get help from the other Pokemon in the detainment rooms. Now I can see all sorts of different places inside the police station. Wow. 
That's fantastic. Good thing you figured out how to get along with them. Wait, isn't like Tim technically a cop himself, so shouldn't he be mad about like Pikachu like tampering with evidence? Dude, A cab. We're not exactly best friends or anything like that, but I guess that's okay. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about, too. Come on, let's pool our information. Hey. I found this photo of the incident occurring at Fountain Plaza. Check it out. It's a Pikachu. And I don't gotta tell you it's not me. That other Pikachu is the real culprit. Wait, the Pikachu in the picture doesn't have stripes on its back. But that's your hat in the picture. Yeah. Someone must have gone it specifically to frame me. But it's obvious that it isn't me, right? Right. You got stripes on your back. But the Pikachu in this photo doesn't have any. Dude, I'm on it! Exactly. And I'm curious about that thing on its back. It's the same device that I've got on my back right now, too. I asked around the city yesterday about those devices. Based on the testimony I gathered, I'm pretty sure they're meant to keep Pokemon pacified. To keep them from going berserk, you mean. Hey. Were you able to track down the real culprit? The other Pikachu? No. We found them tracks, but they trailed off. I don't know where it went. Too bad. Sorry I haven't been able Sorry I haven't been able to prove your innocence yet. Hey, no need to apologize. I know you're trying your best. If you couldn't find it, you couldn't find it. What's important is what you do next. Yeah. And as for that double of yours, I think there's a high chance that a different Pokemon was impersonating you. You think so? Now there is an intriguing theory. Mm -hmm. By the way, Pikachu. What kinds of Pokemon are you helping in there? There's lots of them, but the most helpful one is Luxray. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he can see those objects and use powerful electric, electric type moves. Wait, I just remembered we were supposed to talk to Mightyena on second half, but we didn't see a single one. He's probably detained now. That vision thing sounds pretty handy, but if he knows strong electric type moves, let me stop you right there. I don't think Luxor raised the culprit at all. If he were, the PPP would have, wouldn't have had any cause to arrest me in the first place. Yeah, good point. Oh, that reminds me. Luxor asked me to pass on a message to you. What is it? He wants to know how his friend Mariana is doing out there. The two of them got in a fight, and Luxor is worried about what happened in the aftermath. He says Mariana usually hangs around on his second half. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for Mariana and let you know how it's doing. Thanks, Tim. Hey. So, when he guesses as to which Pokemon was pretending to be me? I have an idea, but I need to consider all the possibilities. Let's see. Let's think. Let's start deducing. Mm -hmm. Which Pokemon committed the crimes? Let's think it over. It's the Ditto. Oh. Imagine you pick Pikachu. <laughs> After all this time, I still don't believe you. A Ditto, huh? A Ditto could have made itself look like me. Ditto's partner said that Ditto can only copy things it can see. That probably explains why there are no stripes on the Pikachu's back in the photo. But I've looked in every detainment cell and I didn't see a Ditto in any of them. That's strange. If it was detained, it should be in a detainment cell. Guess I better search the other rooms in the station. Hmm. If the PPB and the police have been using a ditto, then they definitely then they're definitely up to no good. So that's it. What is it, Tim? I saw Brad out and about several times while I was investigating. He seemed to be examining the scene of the crime. A crime which already had a culprit. That's kind of suspicious. I really don't want to accept Brad, but I can't help but wonder what he's up to. Yeah, Brad might be a bit of a jerk, but still, we've known him for two years now. I don't like having to think of him as a suspect. 
But you need to look into what he's been up to, Tim. But... Tim, you're a detective, aren't you? You're not trying to bring Brad down. You're only trying to uncover the truth. Yeah, you're right. And look into the cube-shaped devices, too. I understand their function is to pacify Pokemon. But that alone doesn't explain everything. You're right. The Pikachu in the photo damaged that Slowpoke statue. The devices may have some other function as well. I wonder what Brad was doing at the crime scenes. I suppose you could just ask him. But if he was up to something shady, he might just give us the runaround. In that case, maybe we should ask the other police officers. Agreed. You might want to ask people in the city what they think of him too. So, about how those cube-shaped devices work. I keep losing my memory here in the police station, so I really don't know much about them. Try asking people in the city about them. I'm sure there are people who've seen these devices attached to Pokemon. Try hearing what they got to say. Dude, I've already had people give me that information, though. I have to go back for so much. It's literally so annoying. Visiting time is over. Ah, I wish I had more time. Good luck with your investigation. Ah, uh, not this. Darn it. What is it, Pikachu? It's just like yesterday, that feeling when I'm about to lose my memories. My body's moving on its own. Pikachu! It's no use. Is Pikachu okay? He was walking kind of strange just now. He was like that after our first visit too. I'm worried about him. Detainment day two, Tim, evening. All right. So there are two things we need to do. First, find Brad. Second, look into what those cube-shaped devices actually do. Is Brad that man we saw in the plaza? You know him, right? I hope you don't end up squaring off against each other because of this case. Yeah, that'd be pretty scary. But we don't know for sure yet that that'll even happen. Let's just concentrate on uncovering the truth. Oh, and one more thing. If we see Mariana, we need to check and see how it's doing. Mariana? Yeah. Pikachu asked me to check on it. Apparently it's friends with Alexa in the station. Wow, you talked about all that? It just sounded like Pika Pika to me. Yeah, that's normal. I'm pretty sure I'm the weird one here. Not weird, Tim. Exceptional. Huh. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. I'm glad I opened up to you. Um, detectives? Oh, sorry. I guess we shouldn't keep talking here. No, that's fine. Were you just talking about Brad just now? Yes, there is something we'd like to ask him about. Well, if you're looking for Brad, he just headed out to Second Ave on New Orders. Really? Thanks for letting us know. Okay, we're heading to Second Avenue, right? Let's go hear what Brad has to say. Ooh, new music. You know what else is new? Um, potential followers, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Click the follow button, it's free. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on, that way you don't miss a single stream. Yay! Dude, how long is this chapter? My throat hurts. <laughs> When this game came out, there were some people who beat it in one sitting on stream. There's no way they did all the voice lines. No shot. And I think if you're playing a story game, you should read all the dialogue out loud. Like, I feel like the story games are meant to be listened to if the person isn't going to play it. So if you're just skipping through dialogue, that's just like an L. All right, Pig Knight. When we go to the campsite, you're in charge of getting a fire going. Okay, lame. Oh, this is new. Hello. Uh, 
another old lady. Indeedee's partner. Oh, hello there. Do you need something? Excuse me. I was just hoping to ask you a few questions. You'll have to speak up, young man. My ears aren't what they used to be. Okay. Um. Indeedee. Sincere empath. Indy? Oh, an Indity. These Pokemon can read the emotions of those around them. And they're really kind, too. Indity always try to help out someone who's in trouble. You said you could... You said you wish you could understand the hearts and minds of Pokemon, too, right? Yeah, I hope someday I can be more like Indity. Indy. Okay, wouldn't that be like the quiz answer, though? Hmm... The second av we go. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. Machamp's partner. Just look at my Machamp. Aren't his muscles a sight to behold? Machamp! Machamp. Unparalleled strength. He certainly looks extremely strong. Champ, champ, champ. Wow, check out those muscles. What? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Is she flirting? What the frick? Excuse me. Thanks for your help earlier. Mind, I have, mind if I ask some more questions? Are you here to ask about my impidip again? Nope, this time it's about something else. Um... Did anything strange happen today after we talked? No, that was it. And impidip still hasn't come back. I wonder what the poor little guy's doing in the police station right now. Yeah, me too. He could be lonely in there. That's your biggest concern? I'm more worried that he's getting up to his usual pranks and causing trouble for the police. He's always got so much excess energy to burn. I can only hope he behaves himself and gets let out soon. Hello. Office worker. Oh, I don't know what to Excuse do. Excuse me. Is everything okay? Well, I live on a back street yourself of the Fountain Plaza. You see, I always walk through the plaza on my way home. But now whenever I'm walking through the plaza, I keep hearing this strange voice. A strange voice? Yes, but when I turn around to see who's making it, there's never a soul in sight. Do you think it's a ghost? Of course not. I'm sure there's some logical explanation. I hope so. But until I know what that voice is, the, pl the plaza is just too creepy for me to go anywhere near. The case of the Rhyme City Ghost. Doesn't it make you curious, Tim? It sure does. Let's investigate. Thanks for your help. All I want to do is feel safe enough to walk through the plaza again. Weird. I called the police, so I'm sure they'll do something about it soon. I hope the police can take care of this quickly. Oop, drama. Oh, you two, you shouldn't go this way. It's dangerous. Huh? Did something happen? There's an angry Pokemon back there. We should probably leave it alone for a while. What do you think, Tim? It sounds like a police officer came this way. I think Brad must have gone this way. And so should we. We, can, we should... I think Brad must have gone this way, and so should we. Just keep an eye out for that angry Pokemon. Was it that Litlian? Oh. Hmm. Now then. 
We're going to have to detain this Pokemon properly. It's Brad. And it sounds like he's just about to detain a Pokemon. <laughs> no, not Maria. Wait, but they'll get to see his buddies in prison. Oh. It's a Mariana. Wait, Tim, isn't that? Yeah. It's the Pokemon Pikachu asked me to check up on. Luxury's friend. Oh, well, well. If it isn't our great detective. You're, you're welcome to observe, but don't get in our way. This Mariana is preventing the residents from passing through. Not only that, this same Mariana was previously involved in an altercation with the Luxury. This Pokemon poses a clear threat to the public. I'm afraid we'll have to detain it until we can calm it down. Wait, Brad! And you are? Wait, you're the mayor's daughter, aren't you? Yes, I'm Howard's daughter, Rachel. Just look at this mighty Anna, Brad. That poor thing is injured. Anna. Please, at least treat its wounds before you take it in. Don't you feel sorry for mighty Anna? Okay. If you ever get arrested, ask for a medical physical. Just a general tip. Like, if you ever do a DUI, they will do blood tests for you or... If they harm you, ask to go to the hospital. Because you don't want any form of medical neglect to happen. If you do get detained. I'll make sure it receives treatment after I've taken it to the station. Will that satisfy you? No, it won't. We'll treat Mariana ourselves, then. Who, you two? My, my. Who knew you were so talented? Tim, let's get help from a Pokemon. Are you even sure there's a Pokemon that can help? We'll go find one right now. I'm sure there's one in the city somewhere. Maybe we can find a Chansey or an Audino or an Indity or something. Okay, let's have a look around the city. No. Keep your distance. It's dangerous. Whatever. Lydia. Jerk. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you Wendy's partner? Yes, but what in the world is this about? A Pokemon is injured. Please, we need Indidi's help. Oh, is that so? Very well. We should always help one another in times of need. Go with them, Indidi. You can help them out. Indeed. Thank you so much. This way, Indidi. Dude, how OP would it be to have an, a healing Pokemon? Why haven't they healed cancer yet? <laughs> it appears that Mariana has recovered nicely, not fully, but at least it's stable for now. Now I trust this is enough to put your mind at ease, Rachel. I appreciate you waiting for us to get it treated. There is something I'd like to talk to you about, Brad, before you take Mighty Anna away. And what's that, great detective? There's something off about all these Pokemon detainments the police have been doing. Every single incident was caught by the surveillance cameras. That's too convenient to be natural. Ooh! Surely you've noticed, Brad. Innocent Pokemon are being framed. That's what happened to my Pikachu, and he can't be the only one. So, you're suspicious of the surveillance cameras, but the footage on those cameras is incriminating evidence. Unless, great detective, you found evidence that Pokemon are being framed. No, not yet. In that case, I have no choice but to take this Mighty Anna into custody. 
It's my duty. Take it away. Yes, sir. Detaining the Mariana now, sir. I hope my Yina's okay. It'll be with the Pikachu and the others at the station. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is all just so frustrating. We couldn't even stop Rad. If we just had some proof, we have to find some. We need to find some. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad that my Yina finally calmed down. Now we can finally get through here safely. Hey, hey Tim. I bet we can talk to those people right over there. You're right. Let's see what they have to say. Thank you for calling that Mariana just now. You really did us a favor. Yes. Oh, we actually didn't do much. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Oh, what do you need? Do you know anything about the cube-shaped devices that were used when Pokemon are detained? You mean those things they stick to their backs? The way they glow, they're pretty hard to miss. Glowing backs, huh? Kinda reminds me of Volbeat or Illumise. Oh, and the Pokemon seem to really dislike those devices. How oh, could you tell? I saw a Pokemon struggling and flailing its limbs. Excuse me. Do you know anything about Brad McMaster? He's the police lieutenant who was just here. Hmm, not really, but he certainly was easy on the eyes. Yeah, he gives Rhyme City's finest a whole new meaning. Uh, uh yeah. Okay. I don't think we're gonna learn anything useful about Brad from these two. Yeah, they're just middle-aged women. Hey. All about gossip. What should we do now, Tim? I doubt we'll be able to speak with Brad directly anymore today. Let's talk to some other people. Lucky for us, there still seem to be a bunch of people out and about. I hope we can learn more about Brad and those cube-shaped devices. We will interview the people about Brad and the cube device and then solve the mystery. The end is near. Man. Ugh, what do I do? Excuse me. Do you need help with something? Afraid so. See that building back there? One of my kids accidentally threw a ball up onto the roof. But I can't get up there to retrieve it, so I'm not sure what to do. No kidding. I can't even see that high up from here. Scaling the wall is pretty much out of the question. Yep, and the icing on the cake. I foolishly promised my kids to have their ball back to them by tomorrow. There's gonna be some way to get it. Any ideas? Actually... I think this calls for some Pokemon help. Then let's go look for a Pokemon that's good at climbing buildings. We'll see what we can do. Please wait here for a bit. Really? Thank you so much. Okay, it's obviously a bomb. There's so many missions in this chapter. And then they're all- wait, this is a ghost. A ghost! Back to visit your Pikachu again, are you? You sure are passionate about this case. Excuse me. Actually, that's not why I'm here. Can I ask you a question or two? Um... Did anything strange happen in the city today? I don't know if I necessarily call it strange, but there have been several Pokemon-related incidents. At this rate, they're gonna fill every detainment room we got. That must be pretty stressful for the Pokemon. If they're stressed, they can work it out during their daily exercise time. Thanks for letting us know about Lieutenant McMaster. No trouble at all. What did you need him for, anyway? Oh, I just remembered something about the incident Pikachu was involved in. I thought it could help with the investigation, so I wanted to tell the Lieutenant in person. Understood. Thanks for reporting whatever info you can. 
Do you know anything about those cube-shaped devices being put on Pokemon as they're detained? Oh, those things? I hear they're management tags. I don't quite understand how they work, but they're pretty interesting. The moment a Pokemon is outfitted with a device, it goes with the police without any resistance. Really? The Pokemon do that on their own? Yes, it's much safer than when... Yes, it's much safer when they aren't violent. Let's think. I don't want to think just yet. I'm going to keep asking questions. Excuse me. Thanks for your help earlier. Do you mind if I ask some more questions? About my Intellion? No, this is about something else. Um... Did anything strange happen today after we talked? Intellion hasn't come back yet, has he? No, he hasn't. I think he's still at the police station. The shop sure is lonely without Intellion. It's hard to tell for sure, but I think even the flowers are drooping a bit. Intellion always took such good care of them. I really hope he can come home soon. Do you know a man named Brad McMaster who works for the Rhyme City Police? He's tall and typically wears a blue suit. Oh yes, the lieutenant just left, in fact. Really? Do you know what he was doing here? The same thing as you, actually. Investigating the flower display and Teleon was accused of vandalizing. I couldn't make out what, but he was muttering to himself the whole time. Just like at Fountain Plaza. Brad sure spends a lot of time returning to the scene of the crime. But why was he investigating the crime scenes after the Pokemon had already been detained? It really makes me wonder. Let's think. Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks for your help earlier. Do you mind if I ask you some more questions? About me more Peko? I've already told you everything I know. No, this is about something else. Um... Did anything strange happen today after we talked? Huh, not really. I was so shocked after they took my more Peko from me that I couldn't find the motivation to do anything else with my day. Did you try going to the police station? You might be able to visit Marpeko there. Oh, that thought never occurred to me. I'll try visiting tomorrow. <laughs> Kalulis. <laughs> Do you know a man named Brad McMaster who works for the Rhyme City Police? He's tall and typically wears a blue suit. Yeah, I just met him. He came to ask me some questions. Oh, really? About what? The lieutenant asked me for details on Marpeko's ability. So I explained how Marpeko's appearance and the typing of his aura wheel move changes depending on whether he's hungry or full. Maybe Brad came to the same conclusion as we did, Tim. It doesn't make sense for Marpeko's aura wheel to have been an electric type if he was hungry when he used it. If that's true, what exactly is Brad trying to do? Oh, I can't go in the cafe. Maybe there's a Pokemon in here. I was just being clueless. <coughs> huh, isn't this cup kinda... <coughs> Sinisty, vintage flavor. Nisty Nisty. Whoa. It's a Pokemon? Hey, Sinisty, stop startling the customers. Wait, is that an antique form, Sinisty? Could you let me see your under Could you let me see under your teacup really quick? Sinsin? Oh look! There's a mark. That means you're a rare little Sinisty, aren't you? What do you mean by antique form, Rachel? Most Sinisty are phony form Sinisty that inhabit forged teacups. But every now and then, a Sinistee takes a residence in a valuable antique teacup. You can tell that the cup's a genuine antique by its mark of authenticity on the bottom. They're seriously rare. 
Wow, Rachel. You're not this knowledgeable. You've got an excellent eye for detail, too. Nisty, nisty. It looks like it's happy to receive so many compliments. You must be able to sense your excitement, Rachel. Hey. Hi, Tim. Welcome. Perfect timing, actually. I got a favor to ask. How can I help? I can't get the lid off of this jar. Could you please open it for me? Sure, if that's all you need. Huh? This lid won't budge. No good, eh? It was worth a shot. I ordered some gourmet preserves to use in my cooking, but I guess you could say I'm... in a jam. A strong Pokemon might be able to help open it. Yeah, I think you're onto something there. Can you think of any Pokemon in the area strong enough to open an especially stubborn jar lid? Not off the top of my head, but I can keep an eye out for one. The Machamp! Come on, we literally just talked to him. Thanks, Tim. Go ahead and take the jar with you. Okay, there's actually so many side missions in this chapter. My goodness. I keep coming back to this cafe every day to get more of the coffee. Their rich flavor is simply the best. Whenever I come to eat here after work, all my exhaustion from the day just melts away. This place feels like a second home to me. Wait, these guys were here yesterday, too. <laughs> Say, what's a teapot doing here? Teep? Poltergeist. Poltergeist. A flavor steeped in mystery. Polty polty. What? Something's in there. That's a poltergeist. It's a Pokemon that lives in a teapot. Oh yeah, one day it just showed up out of the blue, and it's been here ever since. Luda. Uh, Ludi? Ludico looks like she's asking a question. What do you suppose it is? I wonder if she's asking where Pikachu is. <clears throat> Luda. Luda. Okay, I still haven't found the Pokemon for the quiz. I liked this place so much yesterday I couldn't resist coming back. Just watching Ludicolo warms my heart. There's apparently a ghost in town. Donde esta el ghost? <laughs> Has that injured Pokemon gotten any better? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's recovering quickly. Thanks to Indity. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Remember, helping each other out in times of need is the secret to a long life. Indeed. Thank you for your help earlier, Indy. Marion is doing much better, and it's all thanks to you. Indeed. I see the Apom of Rhyme City is as energetic as ever. Say, these Pokemon are good at climbing trees, aren't they? You think one of them could help retrieve that guy's ball? Oh, that's a great idea. Hey, Apo? Hey, Apom. I'm wondering if you could help us. Do you think you could get a ball dumb up from on the rooftop? Apo? Please, Apom. You're the only one who can help. Apo? Alright. Oh, look. There it goes. I think we managed to get our feelings across. I hope I managed to get that ball down. Let's go see. Oh, you're the two from earlier. Guess what? After you left, an Apon appeared and got the ball for me. Mm -hmm. So it helped you out after all. Glad to hear it. Ah, I figured you'd send it over. It was such a huge help. My kids will be so happy now. Thought I'd better give them a stern talking to about taking care of their things. 
Uh, don't go so hard on them. Kids will be kids. Looks like Apom wants to play with the ball too. Hey, Apom. Oh, do you want to play with my kids? They'd be so happy to have an Apom for a friend. Hey, Apom. Looks like you're happy to make new friends too, Apom. Okay, I think the last thing over here is the Machamp. And then I'll do some deducing. Machamp! Champ, champ. Yes. He sure looks strong. Have you come to check out my awesome Machamp? I'm so proud of him. Um, not exactly. Or maybe you can help out with our problem. See, we've been looking for a Pokemon that can open up this jar of jam. Oh, that'll be a piece of cake. I mean, it's jam, but you get the idea. Give it a twist, Machamp. Champ, 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 champ. Wow, great job. He opened the jar like it was nothing. Huh, a little thing like that isn't even a warm-up for my superpower partner. Thanks a lot. We've got to get this back to Pablo. Good to see you back, Tim. How'd it go? Great. Or, great. Here, take a look. Oh, what Pokemon did you ask for help? A Machamp popped the lid right off for us. A Machamp? Sounds like that stubborn jar lid never stood a chance. Anyway, I better whip you up a little thank you gift with these preserves. Thanks very much, but we can wait till another time. Are you sure? Yeah, we're in the middle of an investigation. And if Pikachu doesn't try to get some too, I'd never hear the end of it. Heh, <laughs> true that. Well, then I'll hold off on making something at all tr True that. Well, then I'll hold off on making something until all three of you can stop by together. Thanks, Pablo. Okay, all I have left is Quiz and then Ghost. I don't think those Pokemon have appeared yet. But you know what is bound to appear? An ad. Because guys, we are four hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. If you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad-free viewing on Amazon. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Click subscribe. Do it! Do it! Damn, look at this. Tim is just staring me down. I think he's risen. Whew. Wait, look at him. Look. Holy moly. Also, I think my border color is not yellow. Yeah, my border wasn't even yellow. It was orangey. Editor, fix that. <laughs> okay, let's get to deducing. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out what those cube-shaped devices really are. Could they be controlling? Make them go crazy? Or make the Pokemon stand out. It's obviously to control. Okay. These devices might actually be capable of controlling Pokemon. You really think so? I do. We don't have any evidence yet, but of course. It seems that way based on what we've heard. If that's true, then Ditto was forced to obey someone else's orders. Yeah. That's terrible. If the person orchestrating these crimes was controlling Ditto, how were they able to give it orders? 
Based on all the witness statements so far, it's not clear whether anyone was directing to those actions. True, but there had to have been someone at the crime scenes talking directly to Ditto, right? Yeah, I can't really think of any other method they could have used. Maybe a witness saw someone giving out orders. Yeah, we should ask around. Dude, more questioning? Ideal meal. I'm missing one person about Brad. I think I have to talk to Machamp guy. Because he still had an explanation point over his head. Oh no, he doesn't. Who? I've talked to everybody though. Oh, him again? What do you need? Do you know a man named Brad McMaster who works for the Rhyme City Police? He's tall and typically wears a blue suit. Oh, he just came by to see me earlier. He asked me to tell me about Impotent. So I told him, well, everything. How much Impotent loves playing pranks, his fondness of shiny things, stuff like that. The lieutenant was a really good listener. He took it all very seriously. But I never figured out exactly why he was asking me all that. I see. Thanks again for your help. So Brad was asking about an impotent who'd already been detained. Just what is Brad up to? Let's get to deducing. Mm -hmm. I've collected a good amount of information about Brad. Now it's time to organize it and think this through. Brad is conducting his own investigation. Okay. That makes sense. If Brad were the one giving orders to Ditto, there'd be no reason for him to go around asking him questions after detaining the Pokemon. So, you think Brad is just investigating the incidents? Like we are? Yeah, I do. Makes sense. Okay. Now that we know Brad isn't the culprit, and we got that tip about Ditto too, we should tell Pikachu as soon as we can. At night? Would they even let us see him? The officer at the reception desk said we could visit up to twice a day. As long as the station's open, I think it'll be fine. Let's go visit Pikachu. Hey, Paul. Hey, hey, Paul. You look cheerful. Who? What Pokemon can sense emotions via the protrusion on its head and prefer secluded places? Use those legs and find the answer. Secluded places. It's gotta be the alley that I can't go into. It has to be. For now, let's go, just go talk to Pikachu. Oh, I I, <laughs> I thought there was a walkway on this side. Okay. If danger rears its head, you can trust the Rhyme City Police to protect and serve. Excuse me. Excuse me. I was hoping to ask you about something. Is it true that you use cube-shaped devices when you're detaining Pokemon? Oh, you must mean the management tags. What makes a management tag different from any other tag? I'm really not sure. I think they're really high-tech or something. I mean, they're machines, after all. They've probably got little computers inside or something. Do you know anything specific about their function? Well, I'm ashamed to say, but not really. I think the higher-ups in the PPB know how they work, though. Okay, the only thing I've left to figure out is the cubes. Excuse I'm only going to ask about the cubes. Good evening. May I ask you a few questions? Huh? Is something the matter? Um... Is it true that you use cube-shaped devices when you're detaining Pokemon? 
Oh yeah, those things. We've got orders from the PPB to attach them to Pokemon. How do the devices function? Who knows? They never really gave us any details. Classic. Detainment Day 2. Pikachu. Evening. <sighs> Finally, Pikachu POV. I'm in the detainment room. Great. Back again with missing memories. A mystery for another time. Right now my goal is to... A mystery for another time. Right now my goal is the chief's office on the second floor. There was a duct in his office, but it doesn't seem to be connected to the ones down here in detainment. I'll have to go up to the first floor and search for a duck that connects to the chief's office. I guess I'll go see Luxury first, though. I can look for a duck leading to the chief's office after that. Hey. Are you heading out to explore the station again? Yeah, we found a room that looks important, so I'm gonna rustle up some clues. Well, considering you passed my treasure hunt test with flying colors, I bet you'll come back with something amazing to share with us. You've kept me waiting. How's the investigation going? It's going, and relax. This is one great detective you can count on. Great detective. I swear I've heard that somewhere. Hmm. Let's see, which room should I go to? Lux. All right, Pangoro. Go slow, okay? Aim for a speed record. Uh -huh. Got it. <laughs> I did it! What is it? Do you need my help again? Thanks for the offer, but you wouldn't be able to get through all the ducks. My plan is to take him up to the first floor and aim for the chief's office. Then I suppose I'll just have to leave that to you. Yep, you can count on me. Oh yeah, when I talked to Tim earlier, I passed on your message about Mariana. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, you don't sweat. Now just hang tight until our next visit, and I'll fill you in on his report. Yeah. <laughs> Go to 1F. What? Hmm. Let's see, which room should I go to? Wait, I could just go straight to the vents? Come on, You got this? I'll try. I do hope we're successful. I'm in. <laughs> well, now I'm on the first floor, but there are lots of police officers up here. If they spot me, I'll get thrown right back into the detainment room. Anyway, where should I go? Another stealth mission. It looks like there's a duct way back there. Based on the floor plan, I'm guessing that duct should connect to the chief's office. Guess there's no point in standing around. Muscles, don't fail me now. That's the duct that leads to the chief's office without being spotted. Ah! 
<laughs> the music is so loud for like a stealth mission. Why is it popping off? Made it to the duct. Guess I gotta climb up there. I just hope it really does connect to the chief's office. Well, here goes. Nothing. Ooh, quick time. Ugh, why are they all so high up? <laughs> oh, I wanted there be wanted a QT. <laughs> No, that's just age, homie. Hmm. Finally out of there. This has got to be the chief's office. Just got to look at it. Looks like my little stealth mission was a success, as expected. Now let's find out what you're really up to, butler. about aren't you is this where you've been wow it's a pikachu you know about me oh yeah we know all about you matter of fact i got some questions for you hey. what are you even doing here ditto i've been here for ages using transform to turn into all kinds of pokemon mr man always asked me to do it here in this room he says transform into this pokemon but, I, but after I use transfer, my head goes all fuzzy. So I don't really remember what happens after that. You've been experiencing memory loss too, huh, Ditto? I know just how you hate. Wait a minute. Did Ditto make itself look like me and break into that slowpoke statue while its memories are missing? Hmm. Was someone in this room earlier? A guy called Butler. Yup. Mr. Man's here all the time. Not right now, though. You're not Butler's partner, though, are you? Partner? No, my best friend is Granny. Mr. Man is the person who brought me here. He's really nice. Butler? Nice? With a mean mug like that? He gives me lots of compliments when I use Transform. Hey, ditto. You haven't seen your Granny in a while, have you? Nope. Nuh-uh. Will I get to see her if I keep waiting in this room? I'm afraid not, Ditto. Wait as long as you like. She won't be showing up here anytime soon. Huh? Really? This poor Ditto is just another victim. Hey. There's a safe in this room. You know, that big box? Yep, it's right over there. Do you know what's inside? I saw Mr. Man move papers in and out of that box lots of times. He sings a weird song whenever he opens or closes the box. A song? Yeah. Hmm. -mm, five one five. Hmm. -mm, o oh, two o. Oh. That's what Mr. Man sings when he opens the box. Five one five o oh, two o. Oh. Like that? Yep, just like that. You're a real good singer. Five one five o oh, two o. Oh. Mm hmm. Got it, thanks. Sounds to me like a six digit number. Thanks. Thanks for telling me all that stuff. By the way, Ditto, do you mind turning around for a sec? Huh? What is it? Do I have something on me? Sorry about this. Uh, um. Ah, it feels like I almost got it. I guess I'm not strong enough to pull the device off. 
I thought I might be able to remove it and stop Ditto from doing more bad things. Huh? What? Did you say something? Um, uh, nope. Nothing at all. You wanna talk some more? Yeah, I forgot the safe code. <laughs> hey, can you sing that song for me again? The one Butler sings when he's opening the safe. Five, one, five, one, two, o, o, two, o. Five, one, five, o, two, o. Oh, five, one, five, zero, two, zero. Here's Butler's safe. And that song Ditto told me must be the passcode. Okay, time to crack it open and see what's inside. It was five one five O oh, two O. Oh. Yes, sir. I'm in. Yeah. Alright, it worked. Let me see what we got in here. A packet of papers and some photos. I just hope this info helps us get out of here. Let me see. The cover of this instruction manual has diagrams of those cube-shaped devices. Guess that means it's got details on how to use them. Hmm. So those things are called control cubes. It says there are special controllers to operate the cubes remotely. They must use those controllers to make us walk up to the room. Sheesh. That's totally not disturbing or anything. Looks like paperwork sent to Butler from some sort of organization. And the organization's name is... Unitas. Huh. Wait a second. These are orders TO Butler. What sort of organization can order around the Chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau? And just who are these Unitas people? His orders are to capture Pokemon and transfer them. Looks like this has been ongoing for six months already, but the number shot up in the last month. And what is all going on right over my... And it was all going on right under my nose. I really dropped the ball. Huh. What's this about compensation? The numbers show how much Unitas has been paying Butler. And the payments are for sending the captured Pokemon being kept at the station to some other location. These are some photos of their targets. Hey, wait. That's me. Butler was under orders to capture me? But what the heck for? Nothing here has been giving me any insight into Unitas' actual goals. Oh, here's a photo of some humans. Huh, this lady looks awfully familiar. Oh, I remember that's Jessica, her friend. I'm pretty sure we met her in the cafe the other day. Wasn't she friends with Rachel? But why is Jessica circled in red? I've got to let Rachel know about this. Huh, who's that woman next to Jessica? Stay. Isn't that Howard Myers, Mayor Howard Myers? And next to him, huh, it's that scientist Murloc, the guy who plucked some of my fur. Hmm. Let me see. Here's a report Butler wrote to someone. It goes on at length of how he's been rounding up Pokemon with help from the police. Seems Brad has been particularly active on that front. Brad's not gonna be happy when he finds out the Chief's been playing him like a fiddle. The report also said that Holiday's been making a nuisance of himself. Looks like the inspector's been repeatedly objecting to Butler's methods. These are some forms filled out by the victims of Pokemon-related incidents. They contain descriptions by the victims of the damages incurred. Let's see, description of Pokemon stealing things, Pokemon causing property damage. Wait, I don't see a damage report about the incident that occurred at the flower shop. I thought Intelon- I thought Inteleon destroyed the flowers there. I'm not seeing any reports about stolen food, either. Even though Morpeka was detained for stealing food. So they're detaining Pokemon over incidents that don't even have damage reports. I wish I could show all of these to Tim. Pretty sure taking them is out of the question, though. I'll just have to settle with taking the most important looking pages. Let me just tear these out. Guess I can hide these in my hat for now. I was wondering where he's putting all his evidence. <laughs> Oof, Hat feels a little snug now. Well, now that I've got those documents, I'll just close the safe to make it look like nobody was here. 
Oh, I thought he was gonna lock himself in there. <laughs> How much of a funny prank would that be? Honestly. Um, why'd you stuff your hat full of papers? Are they super special or something? Yeah, ditto. And thanks to these, you'll be able to see Granny again. Oh, really? That makes me so happy! Thank you! Yep, so just wait here a little longer. I'll just take these papers back to my room and... Huh? Is someone there? Oh no, someone's coming. Let's hide hey, how's there. Pikachu gonna get back in the vent? He's, he's kind of screwed himself. Please, come in. It's the mayor. Scientist. Thanks to your information, the jewel is now in my possession. <gasps> As for the matter of that woman and Pikachu... That Pikachu's being transferred tomorrow. Detective hat and all. I see. I won't tolerate any mistakes. <laughs> Ditto's so happy. <laughs> if you'd like more money, deal with that woman for me, too. Leave it to me, sir. Now then, I'd like to see how things are progressing with the control cubes. Yes, sir. <sighs> that guy Butler met with. Who could he be? Plus, he said I'm getting transferred tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds like we better hurry. This is bad. I've got to tell Tim what we just heard. Better go prep for our next visit. Detainment Day 2. Tim visits Pikachu. Evening. <laughs> I'm glad they're letting us visit even though it's late. Yeah, we could have come tomorrow if we had just turned away. Yeah, we could have come tomorrow if we were turned away, but it was nice they let us in. Well, I'm glad you came tonight. There have been some interesting developments. Oh, what'd you find out? Come a little closer, Tim. I'll tell you all about it. Hey! So, what are these interesting developments you mentioned? Apparently, they're planning to transfer me to some other location tomorrow. They're relocating you? Where and what for? I don't know, but something tells me it's an... It's not an all-inclusive beach resort. And once I'm there, I doubt we'll be able to visit each other like we have been. Seriously? Then what can we do? Calm down, Tim. A window of opportunity hasn't closed just yet. But first, I gotta ask. Did you learn anything about Brad? Yeah, Brad's not our culprit. He's been independently investigating these incidents, just like we are. Okay. In that case, we might be able to get him on our side, don't you think? With Brad's help, I'd be able to waltz on out of here tomorrow morning. But that would put Brad in the position of working against the police. Do you really think he'd agree to that? If you want him to, you'll have to explain what's really going on. And you'll have to do it clearly, with no room for doubt. Tell him behind who's all this, and how they did it. Well, to be honest, I still haven't figured it all out yet. I don't think we have enough information. If the... If it's the info you need, I got you covered. I found some definitive proof in the police station. Let's look over the evidence and get deducing. Wait, Pikachu. Uh, do you think it's a good idea to show it in the open? The officer will see. She's gonna go riz up the officer. Officer, quick! There's a Pokemon loose in this room! What? I don't see any Pokemon. Over here in the corner! Look closely! Huh? Let me see. Oh, I thought she was just gonna shock him. <laughs> you know, she's gonna prove she's committed to our cause. Wow, Rachel's really on it. She distracted the officer for us. Now their chance, Pikachu. Okay, here are some papers I found inside the safe in Butler's office. Thanks. Looks like an instruction manual for the devices and various incidents reports, along with... There are four sets of documents in total. Read them closely and make your own deductions.
Okay, this is unskippable. I can't make this go faster. Let's think. Let's start deducing. Hmm. We've got a lot of information from people in the city. And we have the evidence you found in the chief's office. We should try deducing the method the culprit used to get orders to Ditto. Someone gives orders by pretending to be a victim. Someone gives order using a controller. Or someone gives order using other Pokemon. It's a controller. According to the instruction manual, the devices can be operated remotely using a controller. Huh. I thought the culprit needed to be at the scene of the crime to give orders. But if they used the controller to give orders from afar, they could have avoided being seen by witnesses. Alright. So now we know how the culprit did it. Mm. This flowchart is insane. It's huge. Someone who could have given... Someone who could have been involved in every single incident and also given orders to Pokemon. Yep, that's our culprit. I wonder. I Mario mm -hmm. wonder. <laughs> Let's think about who the real culprit might be. This guy. Okay. Chief Butler was ordered to capture and transfer Pokemon. And he was getting paid for it too. And we found those orders in his office. Yep. Which means the real culprit is the head of the Pokemon Protection Bureau, Chief Butler. Yeah. Now we know the truth behind all these incidents. Chief Butler was using some kind of controller to make a Pokemon commit crimes. Exactly. You need to tell Brad, ASAP. He'll probably be shocked, but if you show him proof, I think he'll understand. Then we can stop Butler from carrying out his plans. Yeah, I'll do that, but still. You're supposed to be transferred somewhere tomorrow, right? Are you sure we'll make it in time? Good point. I need to figure out a way to escape. Tight security. Along with these cubes. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Uh-huh. I hadn't thought of that. A bolt of brilliance! Huh? If I get the other Pokémon to help, we can all escape! Wow, jailbreak! Now I can finally get out of here! <laughs> I'll need help from the others if I'm gonna bust out of this place. You said Luxray and the others were helping you, right? Are you sure you'll be okay? Of course, just you watch. I'm gonna bust out of this place and take all the others with me. Wish me luck, Tim. Oh, speaking of Luxray, we found that mighty Anna. Really? How was he? He was injured. We helped him get back on his feet, but after that, he was detained by the police. Oh, well, I'll tell Luxray. Thanks, Tim. You know what else I gotta tell some of you guys? To follow the channel, because guys... We are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Wow! And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turned on, that we don't miss a single stream. We're breaking out of here tomorrow, and like I said, I'm bringing the others with me. Mariana included. What do you need me to do? Cause a distraction for the police outside the station. Got it. You want to make sure there are as, as few officers in the station as possible, yeah? Exactly. That'll be our chance to escape. Oh, and don't forget about Brad. <sighs> Do you think Brad will believe us? You've got all the information to prove it, right? I'm sure that'll convince him. Yeah, I guess all we can do is try. I bet Brad's still out investigating on one of the crime scenes. Let's go look for him. Brad sure is dedicated.
E flower shop lady is gone. Coffee shop guy is gone. <laughs> hey. Are you ready to try and convince Brad? Excuse me. Hi there, Brad. I see you're here in the plaza again. As are you, great detective. What of it? What happened with that mighty inn earlier? It's being taken into custody at the police station, just like your Pikachu was. I see. Is that all you wanted to ask? No, there's something else. Something important. Brad, what's your opinion of the Bureau? My opinion? Do you think the police and the PPB trust each other and work together effectively? Why? Did you hear something from Inspector Holiday? In any case, it's hard to say. I'm finding a lot of strange discrepancies with these recent Pokemon incidents. Too many to chalk up to a coincidence, wouldn't you say? As if someone in the police or the PPB wants it that way. Do you have any evidence of that? Without proof, all I can do is carry on with my job. And that's exactly why I keep returning to the crime seasons, isn't it? To find proof of who's behind all this. Are we done here? Sorry. I've been... Are we done here? Sorry. But I'm very busy. Let's go, Manic Trick. Manic? The PPP is detaining innocent Pokemon. Excuse me? And that's not all. They're also planning to transfer those Pokemon being detained at the police station somewhere else. What? That's a very serious accusation you're making, especially if it were true. I have proof. Then show me. Let's see this proof of yours. All right. Take a look at this. It's from Chief Butler's office. And why would you have something from his office? Are you suggesting I stole it? You don't have any evidence of that. Ugh, just hand it over. This can't be. They're controlling Pokemon? Of course. So that's why the Pokemon became so obedient once these devices were attached. And it all adds up. The solicit accounts for each and every incident to date. So they were all orchestrated by Butler, or rather, by this UNITA's organization pulling its strings. <laughs> so, Brad, do you believe me now? Pikachu and the other Pokemon are innocent. I never thought something like this could happen. Please, Brad, we need your help. We just want to help Pikachu and the other Pokemon out of the city. Any other day, I would have thought this was some kind of joke. But the evidence you have is irrefutable. Very well, then. I'll confront Chief Butler about this. Really? Thank you, Brad. There's no need for you to thank me. I'm just doing my job. The duty of the police is to uphold the peace and protect the residents of the city. That will always take priority over orders from the PPB. I'll get started first thing tomorrow. That might be too late. They plan to transfer Pikachu away tomorrow. Too late? But any sooner would mean a breach of official procedure. Listen, Brad. I'm pretty sure Pikachu's going to make a break for it at the station tomorrow morning. W what do you mean? We have a plan. If we can pull it off, Pikachu and all the innocent Pokemon will escape. But in order for our plan to work, we need your help. Not giving up without a fight, huh? Well, what is it you want me to do? Thank you. Here's what I had in mind. It's jailbreak time. Detainment day three. Pikachu. Morning. Finally the juicy drama. I want us to come crashing through that second floor window. That would be epic. Hey. Morning already. Time to get the show on the road. If we don't do something, I'm going to be transferred away somewhere today. And all these innocent Pokemon are going to be stuck here with no way out. Right then. Let's do this. I'm going to get us all out. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why they didn't just like smack their backs against the wall. 
This just too fast. I assume it's implanted like an IV or something, like his needles. Oh, what? Oh, I got it off. What? All right, I did it. I'm Sick. free. Really that easy? It's time for exercise. Proceed to the roof, single file. Great. Strange. That announcement's usually the last thing I hear before losing my memories. But now, I'm the only one that seems unaffected. Must be because I got rid of that cube. For now, I guess I'll go up to the roof with the others and let Luxray and folks know about the escape. Hey. Hey, everyone. You want to get out of this police station, don't you? None of you actually did those bad things they arrested you for. We were set up by a few rotten humans, and I've got proof. Wow. Nice job, Pikachu. Be a bee. Now that we have proof, we can get out of here. Well, proof is good and all, but we really need to catch the culprit in time. In time, something I don't have. Right now, I gotta bust out of here. Then, I'll catch the culprit. Bust out. But how? There's no way you can do it alone. You're right. And that's why I need everyone's help. I assume you have a plan. I'll help. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. How terribly exciting. I'll help as well, of course. Thanks. I knew I could count on you all. But first, we're gonna need to get these devices off of you. Otherwise, you might not be able to move around as you please. So, off with these pesky cubes. Oh, this thing? I'll get yours, Luxray. So, that machine is what robbed us of our bodily autonomy. What should I do after I get this thing off? I need you to distract the police officers, Pangaro. It won't be easy. Do you think you can handle it? Just leave it to me. Thanks, Pongaro. Are you planning to ride on my back again? Yeah, I'm counting on those eyes of yours. Oh, and Luxury, about your friend Mariana. Did you find something out? Apparently he was detained and brought to the station yesterday. He must be in one of the other rooms. Well then, I guess we need to go to the basement. Right. Once we've freed everyone, we can make a break for the exit. Oh, but you all should know that part of the room. Oh, but you all should know that that part of that. Oh, but you all should know that part of this roof is monitored by a security camera. Just to cover our bases, we should pretend that we're still being controlled when we walk past that area. I got that thing off of you, Luxray. And I got Pongaras too. Well done, Sable Eye. Thanks, Impidid. There's no way I could have reached that myself. I'll get the machines off of everyone else. Hmm. Impressive. You got those off in no time at all. Thanks, Bongaro. Okay, looks like we're all ready. Let's all get out of here. Together. Good to go. Me okay. too. Let's do this! Jailbreak, jailbreak. The exit's on the first floor, correct? Yeah, but first we gotta go to the basement to let all the other Pokemon know about the escape. Got it. Let's Kate let's take care not to be seen as we go. I'll distract the police. You can use that time to escape. I'll catch up with you later. Sorry to ask it of you, but thanks, Pangaro. Yeah. 
Surely there's no need to go back up to the roof. You ought to be heading downstairs. Yeah, I went the wrong way, sorry. <laughs> hey Pikachu, I want to scout it out floor B1. Everyone's inside the detainment rooms, and there's a newbie, Mariana, that's hurt. Mariana, so his wounds haven't fully healed yet. I see. Why don't we swing by and check on him? I know your word. Hmm. Looks like there aren't any officers in the guard room. Better take this opportunity to unlock the doors. Let's see. Two, one, six, eight. The detainment room doors are... The detainment room doors are unlocked now, right? Yeah, let's go round everybody up for our escape. Nobody's in here. Okay. Easy. Hey. Hey. Inteleon. More Pico. I know this is sudden, but now's our chance to escape. Head to the exit, both of you. I appreciate the help. I'm glad we can finally leave this place. Leopard and Ponger are distracting the police officers, but they can't keep it up for long, so we need you to hurry. That's a bit of a problem. Morpeko's too hungry right now and not in the best mood. I'm so hungry! I'll watch over Morpeko until he calms down. You two go on ahead. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that, Intellion. We'll head on now. Make sure you follow us later. Hey, everyone. I know this is sudden, but now's our chance to escape. Everyone needs to go upstairs and head for the exit. Oh, really? Oh, all right. Oh, thanks for coming to let us know, Pikachu. Hmm, I'm not going to take Pikachu's word for it. He's probably going to try me again. It's the truth, Dedanim. you got to believe me. Are you okay, Mariana? Luxray. It's your fault that I was injured and then captured by the police. No. You misunderstand. Our fight was a setup. It was orchestrated by some villainous humans. You're blaming humans. This Lux right here isn't the only one who fought with you, Mariana. It was Ditto. It was forced to use Transform to pose as Luxray. You don't expect me to believe that ridiculous... Believe what you want. But now is your chance to escape. Please, come with us. Fine. But I can't walk too quickly, my legs hurt. You go on ahead, I'll catch up afterward. If this is a lie, you're going to pay for it. Believe me. We'll take care of Mariana. You go on ahead. Thanks. Yes, thanks. And Mariana, I better see you out there. Okay. Now that we've talked to everyone, let's get going. But uh, uh, the door's just closed again. My partner is waiting in the first floor lobby. Think we can make it that far? Of course. You think I've come this far just to fail? Leave this to me. I know I could depend on you. All right, Luxray. Let's go. Oop. Hey. All that's left to do is get to the lobby. We can't go this way. There's a human at the end of the hall. We have to go another way. Then let's go through the reference room. It should connect up to another hallway. Understood.
We go now. Hmm. Okay, where do we go from here? Dude, no way. That's crazy. We can't take that hallway. The police are right there. Isn't there somewhere we can go? The room in the back. There are humans in there too. But there are also many places to hide. Then I guess that's our only choice. Alright, here we go. Just a little bit farther on home free. Hold on, Tim. I'm coming. Oh, I hate this. Been spotted. I swear, we'll get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta try again. You know, them not having us respawn at the cells is ruining my immersion. Through on purpose because I wanted to see the cutscene. Mm -hmm. This is a hundred percent playthrough. Officer just keeps walking like further down into the room. I just didn't wait long enough. Oh, wait, there's another room? We can't go this way. There's an officer straight ahead. He does walk another way, okay. Oh, okay. Man, these officers are so clueless. Right. Okay, we're almost out of here. There are still humans out there. But it's Butler and Brad. Drama? What's taking the car so long, Lieutenant McMaster? I should have called one here for me. My apologies, it seems to be running late. You know how valuable my time is. I thought. You know how valuable my time is. I thought you were better than this. We'll be transferring Pikachu as soon as the car gets here. Make sure to pass those orders to your officer. That won't be happening, Chief Butler. Huh? What are you doing here, young detective? Pikachu is innocent. He didn't damage that slowpoke statue. And now we'll think... And now we'll think you to set Pikachu free. Are you too serious? Do you really think any good can come from resisting me, the Chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau? There's no point in threatening us. We won't back down. Is that so? In that case, I'll have you forcibly removed. Lieutenant McMaster, as you can see, these two are interfering with a public servant in the execution of their duties. Arrest them. Are you listening to me, Lieutenant? Why don't we hear what they have to say, Chief Butler? What did you say? Hey, Tim. 
Hey. Hey, Tim. Sorry I kept you waiting. Pikachu. You're okay. Impossible. Why are Pikachu and Luxray here? Detain them already, Brad! Pikachu's coming home He's with me. He's not saying anything. Because the real culprit behind all this <laughs> is you, Chief Butler. What? I'm the culprit? Ha! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Your partner is the one who destroyed the Slowpoke statue. You can't talk your way out of this. You're just playing innocent. Tim, be sure to start off strong. Is Pikachu the culprit? Um, Pikachu was at the cafe. That night, Pikachu was at the Hi Hat Cafe. A witness saw him there drinking coffee. I couldn't care less about that. I have irrefutable proof of his guilt. <laughs> the police have the surveillance camera footage. Are you suggesting it's some other Pokemon in that footage? It clearly shows your Pikachu committing the crime. Who was the Pikachu in the picture? A Ditto! It's a transformed Ditto. A transformed Ditto? A Ditto <laughs> recently went missing. And according to its partner... It's not great at transforming and can only imitate what it's able to see. Now look at this. Look at this photograph. What am I looking at, exactly? There are no stripes on its back, which means that Pikachu is not my partner. You actually think me and that Ditto are working together? Didn't you just say that Ditto has a partner of its own? If I gave it orders, it wouldn't have listened to me. How did Butler make Ditto obey his orders? He used a device that controls Pokemon. The Pokemon in your custody had devices attached to their backs. We put those on in order to manage them. What's wrong with that? Those devices can be used to completely control Pokemon. What are you... That's nonsense. Now that you mention it, when the devices were glowing, the Pokemon did whatever they were told. Don't tell me you believe this! We're just oh, draining Father. the swamp. Do you hear yourself right now? A device that controls Pokémon? Nonsense. As if something like that could even exist. And even if it did, you have no evidence that I used it. But I do! What proves the butler used the cubes? The manual! <gasps> But I do have evidence. Take a look. How did... How do you have this? <gasps> Brad, was it you? Huh? Stop trying to deflect. These documents were found in your office. Which means you were in fact using this device. Documents. Ha! <laughs> You're mistaken, that's all. I'm the chief of the PPB. I would never do such a thing. I don't even have a motive. What was Butler's motive? His, he was getting paid. I've discovered your motive. Look at this. Unitas provided you with the devices, and you provided them with detained Pokémon. In 
exchange for large sums of money. Drain the swamp! You're not detaining Pokémon here. You're kidnapping them. <gasps> well, Chief Butler, did I miss anything? Lock him Posed up! by this kid. You never stood a chance against us, Butler. Wonderful work, Tim. Thanks. Pikachu, you were amazing, too. I owe you two big time. Anyway, now you can finally get out of here. Yeah, and I could really go for some coffee after this. That was great detective work, Tim. On behalf of the Rhyme City Police, you have our sincerest gratitude. Lieutenant. <laughs> All of those Pokemon were innocent. Naturally, we'll be canceling that transfer for Pikachu. And all the other Pokemon will be set free as well. Ugh. I can't... And I covered my tracks so carefully, too. No, I mean, you, you got me all wrong. This was never my plan at the start. I intended to work hard to further the cause of coexistence between humans and Pokemon. If those jerks hadn't come around and tempted me with all that cash. Um, Chief Butler, I believe you still have the controller in your possession. Oh, so you know about that, too. Now, Chief Butler, please hand over the controller. Break it! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, it's broken! There goes our proof. Well, that's just great. Someone's in the door! Well, Chief, no, Butler. I've got a lot of questions for you. Now, come with me. Yeah, if they interrogated him, they'd be able to find all the information, Blinded so it's fine. Cash, he lost sight of the path of justice. Yeah. Well, I'm finally free. Thanks for all the help, Tim. You know who else might need some help? The people who are non-subscribed, because we are five hours into stream. This chapter went longer than I anticipated, but that's okay. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe. Easy. Well, I'm finally free. Thanks for all the help, Tim. Me? I couldn't have done this without you. I'm so happy for you, Pikachu. Lux? Oh, sorry, Luxray. This human is my partner, Tim. Lux. What's Luxray saying? He says thank you for checking up on Mariana. Got it. Oh, that reminds me. Can you tell Luxray to please thank Indity for treating Mariana's wounds? Sure. Anyway, Tim, about Jessica. That's right. She's being targeted by the Unitas organization. Hey, Rachel. Can I ask you about Jessica? I just can't believe anyone would want to target her. Jessica knows both your family and Murloc, doesn't she? Yeah, she worked at the research facility with my mother. I didn't realize Murloc worked with them, too. Jessica really respected my mother. She often came to work at... Jessica really respected my mother. She often came to visit at our house. That's how we became friends. Jessica... Jessica said she lives in Bamboo Borough now. Yeah. Didn't she say she works at a pizza place? In that case, Unidas might show up at Bamboo Borough next. We better go to Bamboo Borough ourselves then. I'm going too. I'm worried about Jessica. You don't mind, do you, Tim? No, it's fine. Huh. 
like saying no would have stopped her. Should we go right away? I'd like to, but there are still some loose ends we've got to tie up around this case, like giving your report to Holiday for starters. Let's head out tomorrow morning. Okay. Rachel, we're planning to go tomorrow morning. Okay, I'd better get ready. Then it's settled. Tomorrow, we're off to Bamboo Burrow. Later that evening, at Tim's apartment. <sighs> Are you okay, Pikachu? You sure went through a lot. That cube thing was awful. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. It was like all the colors disappeared before my eyes, and all the smells and sounds faded away too. Pretty soon, even my own thoughts vanished, and before I knew it, I was under somebody else's control. That's horrible. Who would even make a thing like that? We've just got to keep working this case. If we're persistent enough, we're bound to find the bad guy. Well, one thing we do know for sure is the name of the group that we're giving orders to. Butler. Juanitas. Yeah, Butler's motive was purely financial. He's not the one pulling the strings. It seems like this Juanitas organization is behind all of these cases so far. But why would Juanitas even want to kidnap Pokemon? That's the question, all right. I sense something really dark behind all this. As for Unita's next goal, remember that photo I found in Butler's office? The one of Jessica, right? Rachel's friend? Between the circle on that photo and the note I found, I think we can be certain that Unita's was ordering Butler to find Jessica. Yeah, but why would they target her? I don't know what they'd want from her, but keep in mind that we're dealing with the gonna get I don't know what they want from her, but keep in mind that we're dealing with an organization that's willing to kidnap Pokemon. We'd better hurry and make sure Jessica's safe. Right. Oh, and by the way, Tim, isn't it about dinner time? Oh, I totally forgot. So, you'll take care of dinner tonight? Yeah, no problem. It won't be anything special, though. Mac and cheese. Oh, I still need to get Sophia. Aww. Oh, hey, Irene! You dropped your ring! <clears throat> right, she can't understand me. Oh, well. This is Harry's ring. <laughs> Dude, Pikachu always just, like, dies at the end of every episode. <laughs> It's like a soap opera. A new character dies every episode. Well, it's done. Was it the right choice? I did what's best for my family. Me? Even if it makes me the bad guy. If I told her the truth, Irene, she never agreed to a divorce. <laughs> You're the only one I can confide in, Pikachu. Pika Vega. Oh, the Pikachu voice is so cute. <laughs> This was his ring. When your father left, he didn't take it with him. Are you getting a divorce? <laughs> no way! <laughs> Don't worry. We're not. He may have said that's what he wanted. But when he said it, he couldn't bring himself to look me in the eye. He always does that when he's hiding something. I'm sure he got involved in some sort of incident. So he pushed us away to make sure his family stayed clear of any danger. Mom. Looks like Unitas has their next target. Rachel's friend, Jessica. Tomorrow, we'll go to Bamboo Burrow. And make sure Jessica is safe. 
And if she has any information about Unitas, that'll get us closer to solving this case. The next morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to pause here. And we'll continue this next time. I think that was my favorite chapter because it definitely felt like all my investigations were like actually contributing to something bigger. Like we had to save Pikachu that time. Because the other one, Missing Jewel, classic. Ruins was kind of mid. Like that one felt like filler. Like for sure filler. But this one, best chapter so far. Wait, I can't pause. Okay, I'll read through the dialogue. Good morning, Pikachu. How'd you sleep? Like a log. Another guy like sleeping in your own bed. Waking up and it feels just different. Especially when you're coming from that bed at the police station. It was like sleeping on rocks. I've been worried about you after you fainted again yesterday. How are you feeling? Don't waste your worries on me. I feel great. In that case... I guess you'll be able to come along to Bamboo Burrow and look for Jessica. Yep. Butler's in custody, but that doesn't mean Jessica's safe. Agreed. We'd better check on her ASAP to make sure she's okay. And that photo. I'd like to know more about what was going on when it was taken. We'll have to ask Jessica how she knows the people in it. Right on, Tim. Now you're thinking like a detective. I am a detective. Well, time to get moving. Let's go. You head out when you're ready. Now we pause. Memories of the Bamboo Forest will be the next chapter. Um, the chapter was so long. Dude, five hours. <laughs> five hours. My throat. I was planning on just beating this game by Thanksgiving, but I don't think I can talk for like five hours for four of my days in a row. Or, yeah, or three more days in a row, because I think there's three chapters left. We're only halfway through. <laughs> so, I think I'll alternate between Detective Pikachu and then something else. So, <clears throat> yes. Um, we're gonna pause here for today. We'll pick this up another day. Um, guys. I will be live on M.A. Beef's Twitch channel at 7 p.m. Click the banner in chat. Make sure you're following her. I thought you were going to beat the game today. No. <laughs> um, the average game length for someone to play, it said, was 12 hours. But since I'm, like, li literally reading all the dialogue out loud, um, it's good, probably going to take twice as long. Which is fine. Um... Because I think I did, it was... So, so, right here, we're at the 12 hour mark. In terms of stream content for Detective Pikachu. So it's probably gonna be another 12 hours. <laughs> but that's okay, I'll, I'll beat it. Because once I beat... Sorry, that was really loud. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Once we beat Detective Pikachu, then we can do Super Mario RPG. Now, everybody's favorite part of stream, calligraphy. I've gotta make dinner. Because now I only have like an hour to make dinner. So quickly, if you want to do calligraphy, redeem now, redeem now, redeem now. Classic camera not working. Classic, classic.
Yo, I'm back. I think my computer is just overheating. And you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna make sure to double check on my drivers today, too. Thank you for redeeming, Cole Bobo. While we're doing calligraphy, gentle reminder, make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channels. I weekly stream highlights. New video was published yesterday. I also post YouTube shorts on the Cooks channel. YouTube.com slash at peace and 17 clips. <clears throat> make sure to punch that subscribe button. Last call. Any more redeemers? And no raid today, nobody's live. Okay, guys. I will see you all tonight on MABB's channel, but I'll probably be live on this channel Monday or Tuesday. With, you'll see. Next week we'll do Wii games for sure, but I just want to get Detective Pikachu done. One and done. Okay, before I go, new YouTube video. It is the edited highlight of I made pumpkin pie for the first stream, or first time ever on stream. This stream we did two weeks ago. Make sure you watch it, go like it, go leave a comment. It helps me out a lot. And I like when you guys say funny things. Like I said, I'll be live on Amiibu's channel. Click the pinned message in chat. Make sure you are following her. That way we can all play Mario Kart together. Yes, that is correct. You can play Mario Kart with me, even if you're a non-sub. Ain't that crazy. Yeah, I hate looking at the camera because it's right where my ring light is. It's a mistake. Okay, thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers? Thank you for hanging out today. We're gonna find Tim's dad. Don't worry. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye. I didn't change this. Now it's matching. Dude, food sounds so good right now. Okay, bye guys.